So find, this is not man-made. This is the words of Allah. Find me one error in this, I'll leave Islam. How's that? Challenge. <laughs> so today we are going to do nothing except errors. And my Skype is open to any Abdul. I'm not going to challenge this guy to, to come to debate me because he's a potato. And actually, I encourage you to go and see this video of uh, the brother here who did a great job, actually. Uh, I like what he did. He goes straight to the point. Don't play games. Write it. You know, I mean, imagine the coward. He asked him to write a verse. And it doesn't take you even 30 seconds to write it. I mean, the whole verse is nothing. It's very short. So what an excuse. So... There is many reasons he could not write it. Number one, he cannot he cannot remember it. He didn't. Remember. They say we memorize the Quran, and he claimed to be a sheikh. He himself do not even know the verse. He looked at the phone to look at the verse, and he said, "Oh, oh, how I'm going to write this one." <laughs> I like what this uh, brother did. I don't know him. I never really know. This is the first time I see his video. If you know his channel, go and subscribe to his channel. You know, I'm. Uh, I see people posting his video, but I don't, I don't see where, what channel it is. Uh, go straight to the point. Don't let the Abdul play. Not like when David Wood and Anthony Roger, they went to, uh, to Ibn Farouk. They just made him famous and they did not debate him. You know, they start talking about philosophy and stupid things. I mean, who cares about it? What is missing is to talk about weather. Honestly. Very silly, you know, uh, immature talk from both sides. This guy, he got him in the bone. He have a nail with him. He have the hammer. He hit it there. And now Ibn Farouk, he have a difficulty to take it off. I'm not going to tell you where he nailed him, but you can tell. Now, <clears throat> uh, my Skype is open and I am here to challenge those who claim that the Quran is error free. We have somebody is, but this is from before, I guess. Let us see, do we have any Muslim would like to call us? <coughs> any Muslim? Any Muhammadan? Okay. Okay. I'm reading text, you know, people, they send me messages in Skype. All right. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? Let us see this person. He called from before, but I don't know. You know, just to see if we can get Abdul. Let us see this one. <coughs> sound of the ringing well he is not answering okay it look like we have another person trying to call Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Would you like to share with us? You know our topic today? Yeah, I, I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about something you said two days ago. Okay, are you a Muslim first? I'm a Muslim, alhamdulillah. Okay, and you speak Arabic, right? Uh, All right, go ahead. What do you want to say? So you said uh, that we never, like, it's Islamically not allowed to say, Sallu ala, and then someone else and the Prophet, right? You said that? Well, uh, the Quran... The Quran never mentioned anyone beside Muhammad. Is it true? Um, but not only in the Quran, we also have hadith. Well, I mean, no, I'm talking about the Quran. So you are talking in the hadith, you say something about the same person, you, you pray on him? Uh, someone else than the Prophet? Yes. Okay, what about the Quran? Uh, besides the Quran, because like, it's not only the Quran, it's also what the Prophet said. Okay, so if, but, okay, but our, our, our challenge here, if there is any, are you as a Muslim allowed to say, Something additional to the Quran? Yes, of course, we can say things okay. based on that. All right. So when Allah, he says, Allah and his angels, they pray on Muhammad. Did he say and pray on Ibrahim? 
is that's the sunnah that's no, no. The so why Allah, why Allah did not say uh, pray on Ibrahim, pray in uh, uh, in Musa, pray on why only on Muhammad? We, I'm not a Quranic. Like I take the hadith beside the Quran. So okay, I will not, go with you. So so you are yeah. going to say to me, oh, we have hadith says that salli uh, ala Ibrahim, correct? No, not only not no no no. Okay. We have a hadith that says the prophet the prophet gave, gave, um, someone gave alms to the prophet and his prophet said, oh Allah, send blessings upon the offsprings of that of that person. It's in a Sahih Buhari. Okay, what is Buhari. did he say blessing or uh, salah? Blessings, of course. We salah, are talking about salah. Salah, salah, salah ala Ali Abi Fulan. Okay, so what the word salah in Arabic mean? Salah means prayer, but salah ala okay. means send blessings upon. That's so, open. So like okay, so how salah is a prayer and then it became a blessing? First of all, we can it's open the dictionary prayer. now. Okay, listen, okay. you know, it's I, it, if I pray to Allah, it's a prayer. So if I pray on you. It's a blessing. Okay, I will I will go with you. Yes. Who is the one who do the blessing? If I pray on you. Allah, of course. Okay. Allah sends blessings. Okay. Upon Can anyone else beside Allah send the blessing? No. Yeah, and the angels. Of course. And the angels? Why they are God? No, it's in in the Quran. The Quran said that. This is another question. They, are they God? How uh, you know? They are not. But okay. Allah said. In Allah and Malaikata, you saw Luna Adam Nabi. Exactly. Not so is, is, this is a mistake because so, if Allah is only God, uh, you know. The, Allah is God, <clears throat> he, he decided that the angels can send blessings too. True no, no, Allah. no. You, if, you read, if you read the verse with me, it says, In Allah wa Malaikata, who you saw Luna Adam Nabi. Both okay. they are doing the same job, correct? No. It, it doesn't say that Allah, He sent the, the blessing to the angels. Let us read together. Chapter 33, verse number 56. Can you read it? Wait, let me get it. Okay. Uh, 56, right? <clears throat> yes. Okay. In Arabic or in a, in, a, in a... It doesn't matter for me. Read it. I don't care. Mm -hmm. All right. So now what we have is it the angels and Allah doing the same job exactly? It's uh, the angels, angels uh, Allah that sends, uh, tells the angel to do where, the where it says Allah, He tells the angels, and then the angels they tell the prophet. Are you making things up? That's obvious because it's that's obvious. It's like when Allah takes a soul. Does Allah take the soul? No, the, the angels take the soul. Okay, you know what? Uh, I will go with you. So, okay. if the angel, if Allah, He sent the blessing already, do He need the angels to send it? Are, are you saying to me that your Allah, like when you play tennis, you know, there's two guys playing tennis. And then the, the ball did not go far. Uh, did he need like somebody to carry the ball? So if Allah no. sent a blessing, is a blessing is some is a material? Is a blessing no. is heavy? Is a blessing is it is an order? Is, don't you Muslim you say if Allah says B is going to be? Yes, obvious. Okay. But like what I what I know what, what I told you, when Allah takes a soul, no. Allah doesn't take it. It's the angel. Uh, take it where? Take it where? Is it something physical? What do you mean take it? No, no. I mean like when he when the person dies. No, no, and this is not, I'm, talking, I'm talking about the blessing. Focus with me. But that's the same. That's the same. No, blessing is blessing, Allah, my, my friend. Allah, Allah my friend. Uh, blessing, same, blessing. Same. Okay. A blessing, is it, some, is it something physical? It's not something physical. Okay. It's so if Allah, he bless, if Allah, he blessed a person, he is blessed. That's it. There is no need for angels. There is no need for a human. There is no need for anybody. Yes. Okay. So what is the job of the angels there? They convey it. What do you mean they convey it? If it's, he blessed you already. I, I I really don't understand what you mean because it's the my same friend, as, as okay. when someone does. My, my friend, is the yes. distance between your prophet and his God make a difference for Allah? In what sense? In any sense, because why I need a delivery of the blessing if he blessed already Muhammad, so he is blessed. There's no need for somebody to carry something is not there. You know, blessing is not something you can carry. So it's like saying it, that, that's like saying when someone dies, Allah when he takes a soul, he doesn't need the angels. Or like when when Allah wants to send messenger a message to the world he doesn't need messengers that's that doesn't make sense at all okay so yeah it doesn't make sense i mean this is this is your logic uh, I, I love the no, logic of the muslims i love it's the logic good. of the muslims look what you just you don't said. have medical modes okay, don't have medical the, modes? i have what medical mode the the angel yeah, that yeah, takes the, so yeah, the in one, the christianity yeah no we don't have such a you know such a thing that because because in islam, no no you, we don't have such a thing because in islam you have a fairy tale stories about a guy two guys okay. not one two guys <laughs> they will come to you in the grave and they will hit you with the hammer and they will put you down 70 feet and then the scorpion you say, will you're come. saying you're saying that the father can do that your your god who your father the father the father your god 
You say he can't do that. Can do what? He can't. He can't make two people come to the grave. Why he want to do oh, that? I mean, this is silly. What does that mean? The guy if is he dead. Wants, the why, guy why is dead. The guy, the guy is dead. The guy is dead. So, and the, so, what the day of resurrection for? So now he's in the grave. He's alive or he's dead? He's he's alive, but not in Dar al Barzakh. Dar al Barzakh, yani not not alive <laughs> in the sense of this world. Okay, let's go back to our topic. So, if Allah okay. he sent his uh, his blessing. The blessing of Allah will not go to Muhammad unless the angels they carry the blessing. Is that what you say? No, 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 no. So what? No, no, no. Tell me more. Allah, Allah says, "In Allah wal malaikata, he, 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 he himself he sends the blessings, but also the malaika, the angels. Hmm. But he uses the angels to send. Like uh, he also uses the angels. Look wait, at the fabrication. Um, you are just wait, adding wait. words to the Quran. Does, does it say in the Quran? Be honest. And also, he sent the blessing with the angels. Does it say that, or this is your edition? That's obvious. No, that's obvious. Don't tell me about the obvious. Is the obvious that Allah he do not know what he's talking about? I can say the same because look at this. <laughs> yeah, because if Allah, no. okay, hold on. The yes. blessing you said is from Allah. Allah he gave it to the angels, and let us continue then. And then, oh, who you believe sent the blessing on him? Like what the heck? Okay, we got the angels. They are carrying the blessing. And but, now but, Muhammad, but, 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 tell, tell me, can you tell me what's sending blessings upon? How you tell uh, me? Humans. Yeah, it's Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. It's Allahumma. Yeah. Oh Allah, uh, send blessings upon the Prophet. And? What does that and mean? What does that mean? Allah does it. It doesn't mean the, the but, people do but it. But Allah you, you already sent oh, the blessing. So why why, the, why he's asking the people to ask Allah to send the blessing if Allah already blessed Muhammad? To send more blessings, maybe. What more? Is, uh, it, like a, like, is it about how many kilograms? No, it's about how many blessings. What, how many blessings? Bro, what that will do? If, if, uh, hold on, hold on. How many blessings? What does that mean, guys? Look at this madness. The guy the amount is already blessed. That's, that's the blessing. logical. That's what, logical. Uh, okay, you see, obviously, you, you Muslims, you are confused about the word of blessing. What does blessing mean? Okay, okay, wait. Let's go back to my question. I said to you, you said you said in your stream, yes, you can, we, we as Muslims, we don't, we are not allowed to send blessings on anyone besides the Prophet, right? And Ibrahim. Well, according to the then Quran. Then why? According to the Quran. You said in, in, in general, you said in general, you well, said this, it's not this, allowed. This is, your, said, this, this is your understanding, this is your understanding, but I'm asking you now. Does, yes. the, does the Quran say is that he's asking you, Allah is asking the Muslims well, to send a blessing on Muhammad? Can you repeat that? Are you going to answer it or not? Is Allah asking the Muslims to send a blessing on Muhammad? It's yeah, not, he's not asking, he's saying yeah you had the amen it's a guys, it's he is order not asking he is saying look at the difference it's now. Look, a, look it's at the order yeah okay. so, the guys he is not asking he is saying what does that mean so allah is asking no no he's it's, not it's asking order. He it's saying. an order it's an order it's oh, an okay. order okay so yeah, allah he gave an amen. order listen guys allah he gave an order to the muslim to send the blessing on muhammad and uh, okay the, the muslim now they are going to obey the order of allah and they will send the blessing on muhammad what will happen next i don't see what's wrong with that you know, I'm asking you what will happen next. Now, we did the order. Allah, he ordered us to send the blessing on Muhammad. Okay, I bless you, Muhammad. And what will happen next now? And Allah blesses Muhammad. Oh, so Allah, he cannot bless Muhammad unless the Muslims ask for Allah to, to bless Muhammad. So Allah, he ordered the Muslims, bless Muhammad, say, say blessing on you, Muhammad, and I will send more blessing, correct? No, Allah bless Muhammad already. Okay, so why? For his, see, for his, you, for his you, message, you, you are getting yourself busted but, again. So if Allah no. already he blessed Muhammad, what is the point of the angels and then the believers doing a blessing if that guy is already blessed? For the extra blessings? Like, the extra don't... blessing, what, what will happen actually? If there is like Muhammad, he will go beyond the heaven? I mean, okay, we no. keep sending a blessing for him from now until the coming billion year. Okay, and what will happen to Muhammad then? He's going to be and, higher than Allah? No, no, not, not only that. Uh -huh. Not only that. And of course, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He has the highest, 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 uh, highest rank in paradise. He's mm. in Jannah for those. That's obvious. But okay. Also, we get rewards for saying it, because it's an order, and we say it, uh, and it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense or not? That's it's Allah's not knowledge. We don't we don't question that. Okay. Okay. So you Muslims, you changed changed the word salah from pray into blessing, no, and now what we have, and now what we have. We have two gods. We have two gods. Listen carefully. We have two gods. One, his name is Allah, and the other one is angels. Because the line says it clearly. It doesn't say, and Allah, he sent the blessing to the angels, and the angels send it. Don't tell me this is obvious. This is what it says in the verse. It says here, Allah and his angels. And the letter between them is wa. Wa, which means they are equal. If I say. It's not true. That's not true. Hold on. <laughs> That's not yeah, true. My friend, you, you, <laughs> you know a little bit Arabic, so we go with it. Ana wa akhi. What does that mean? 
مي اند ماي فريندز نو انا واخي انا مي اند ماي برادر يعني برادر يس 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 سو وان اي سي انا واخي ذهبنا ات مين مي اند ماي برادر وي وينت وان اي سي انا واخي صلينا ذات مين مي اند ماي برادر وي برايد كوريكت اوكي ذات مين وي ار دوين ايكوال ورك and this is what the verse using allahu wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi not only they send the blessing they are praying continue non stop correct uh, yeah not okay. not non stop it says non stop it says yusalluna yusalluna is a continue yeah, verb yes okay yes. so this is a continue verb it says yusalluna which means non stop allah and the angels they the whole day We pray on not, Muhammad, not, we pray on Muhammad, we pray on Muhammad, we pray on Muhammad. Yusalluna ala nabi. Okay, hold on. Who is the one who's talking in this verse? Uh, like the Quran, the Quran is the words of Allah. Okay, but who's talking? It's Allah. Okay, why Allah saying Allah and his angels if Allah is talking? Because it, it's the Quran. Allah can say anything he wants. What's wrong with that? Okay, hold in on. Allah. Okay, hold on. So I, I can mm -hmm. say now Christian prince and the angels are praying on Muhammad, but I am yes, a Christian it, prince. Yes, you can. That's not since nothing when, wrong with that. Since when? Since when? If I am the one who's talking, I don't say I don't say my name because I am the one who's talking. Yeah. You should say I and my angels pray on Allah. This is an error in the Quran. The one who wrote the that's Quran, not, he forgot to switch. It's not an error. You can also say Christian prince. Uh, if I'm Christian prince, I say Christian prince and the angels do that. Th that's possible. You can say that. But if you are the one, you, you can say the name of the person. If you are talking about a person, if you are the Which one who's talking. You can also say that 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 no nothing wrong with that. It's, okay. You can also say. Hold me. on, hold on. Uh, I, uh, okay, right. guys. I. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, you can say that, and I want to ask you a very simple question. Yes. When Allah He made this verse, did He made Muhammad the center of the whole world? What do you mean? Okay, I will draw something for you in the screen, and I want you to focus with me, please. Okay. Because well, now. Because now, just be sure that the screen, the YouTube is a mute, please, so you don't have double voice. Yes. All right. So, so now what we will have? Uh, and this is here, Muhammad in the middle, and in the side of the this is the square or a circle, and in the side of this thing. We have Allah, the angels, the people. All of them, they are sending a blessing on Muhammad. Do you agree on that? Oh, it's not loading for me yet. It's uh, I have a delay. Um. You see it now? No, but you can't. You can't put it like that. Why not? I, I, because it's it, it looks like you are saying so. What, what do you? Okay, wait. Uh, tell me what 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 do you mean with this? What, what do you what do you mean? That, this what the, uh, what, is what you told me. You told me that Allah, but it doesn't the, mean he's a and the angels, and the people all they are sending blessing on Muhammad, correct? Yes, but through through Allah through Allah. They say Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Allah, not through Allah, through the pipe, through the cable, through the internet. Who care? Who is the one became the center of the whole world? The people forget about Allah now because everybody, Allah and the angels and Muhammad no. and, the, and the people, they are saying one name: Allah bless Al Muhammad, please. Allah bless Muhammad, bless Muhammad Allah. And Allah is busy because now there is a more than a billion Muslims. They are sending a blessing to Allah according to you, and Allah He have to send it back. By me, that's not that's not that, that that like Allah can do that all day. It's nothing for him. What do you mean nothing for him? If it's nothing for him, if Allah blessed him already, why he want to keep a blessing him forever? Why I mean, not? If I am why blessed, not? if I'm blessed for a second, my friend, just God, He said, "Bless you." I'm blessed. That's it. There's no need for more blessing. What what, what, what does that mean? I mean, is that gold and silver? Is that money? No, he can he can bless you all the way as long as he wants. And the drawing makes no sense because you say now everyone bless Muhammad, but it all goes to Allah. Where is going? It says all goes to Allah. Why are you making things up? The verse says, "In Allah, okay, okay. Allah, we... Allah, Allah and His angels, and, and you know, uh, say, and, uh, praying on Muhammad. You Muslims, how, you, how, you, you fabricate how the, pray? the meaning, and you how, say something. How do we pray on him? How do we send blessings to him? You tell me how you do. Allahumma salli. 
Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Okay, what is that? Oh, mean? Allah send blessings okay, guys, upon so Muhammad. So Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. What Allah you say? You say, you as a Muslim, you say, Allah pray on Muhammad. Allah, what Allah you say? Send blessings, send blessings, send blessings upon Muhammad, yes. Okay, what Allah you say when he bless Muhammad? This, do he say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad? Uh, no, hopefully <laughs> Why not? not? Why not? I don't know what he says. Allah That's, no, no, that's no. not you something. See, uh, if Allah is Allah in the Quran saying Allah so Allah he sent the blessing on Muhammad, okay? And the angels, yes. maybe Allah he say, uh, oh angels send the blessing on Muhammad. Did he say that Allah to the angel? No, he says in Allah Okay, when Allah he said to the end to the human, pray on Muhammad. You say this is an order. It's an order. Okay. Do Allah, I, said, I told you. Okay, uh, but right. if you read if you read the first uh, part of the of the uh, 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 of the verse, it says Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi ya ayyuha alladhina amanu. So the first part there's no order. Allah and the angels are praying on the prophet. Why Allah? Blessings. Okay, how how come Allah and the angel automatically they are sending a blessing, and then the order come to the people to send the blessing I according just, to you? I just told you, Allah sends blessings. And the malaika through, through the malaika, if he wants. What if he wants? He can also, where, where are you, getting, he wants, he where, where you are getting the word if he wants? I mean, are you making things if up? Wants, if he wants. What do you mean if he wants? Where it says that? That's that's, that's like the, the knowledge of Allah. He can do anything. He can Quran, do it himself. Okay, what, he can why do you already, are you Muslim corrupt the Quran? So look what you did. You changed the oh. word as a salah. Okay, Mimi Hijab, he says, pray for not to. Do you agree? Allah, 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 Allah. Okay, Mimi Hijab, in, in, his, in his funny debate with the David, what he said to him, <coughs> Allah, he was saying, pray for not to. Do you agree with that? Pray, yeah, pray for. Pray uh, for. Send blessings upon, send blessings upon, yeah. yeah. No, no, he said, pray for. I say, send blessings upon. But he said, pray for. Which one is the correct? Blessing or pray I, for? You can have different translation, but I, I think mine. The guy like, you speak Arabic, is he translating his own uh, fiction or lying or what? You said to pray like for. You can, you can, you can uh, translate in multiple so, translations. So he was. I want a clear answer from you. He was right when he said pray for, for not to. He might be right. He might be right. I don't don't know. tell me he might but be. I... This is this is a, this is a, this is a sneaky answer. Either he's wrong yeah. and you are right because blessing and praying is different. He said to pray for him, and now you are saying send a blessing for him. Yes, I say send blessings for him. I think that's a more accurate translation. Okay, I don't so know Mimi Hijab is done. No, no problem. So listen. No, I don't so, Okay, when Allah He blessed Muhammad, yes. what what will happen to Muhammad exactly after Allah and the angels and the believers and the blessing? What will he happen? He gets blessed, but he's already blessed. So he gets blessed, mm. and the believers get more reward for blessing. Okay, what, will what will happen to Muhammad? He is already blessed. Okay, the blessing you send does it go to Muhammad or goes to Allah? It goes to Muhammad. Yes. It goes to who? To you, Muhammad or to Allah? Muhammad. So who is God? Allah. So why the blessing is going to... No, I'm saying... The, Allah doesn't need us. Allah doesn't need the blessing. No, no, no. This is not a question. You are not listening. Okay. So if I say a prayer, the, my prayer go to the God or to the Prophet? Your prayers? Yes. Like, what do you mean? Like, you dua? Isn't you who said to me that the, 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 the Muslim, they say, Oh, Allah, bless Muhammad? Yeah, bless, okay. yes. That sentence... Bless, so the blessings, okay. the blessings, the blessings okay. go to Muhammad. No, no, no that's not a question. Listen carefully. What's... When you say, oh Allah bless Muhammad, that sentence goes to Allah or to Muhammad? The sentence, like the sentence itself. Yes. Uh, Muhammad can't hear it. He's, he's, he's dead. Allah, Allah. Uh, so it. Muhammad, he cannot hear it. If somebody says he can yeah. hear it, he's a liar. No, the prophet said, the prophets are alive in the, in the grave. They, they, but you said uh, the, the prophet Muhammad cannot hear it. No, they, they, he can, he can get it through Allah. But he cannot hear it. Through, no, he can hear it. The, the, I mean, not his full sentence, but he can hear the, uh, he can hear okay. that there are. So if the, is the prayer is coming to Allah or coming to Muhammad? I repeat the question again. The, 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 the blessings go to Muhammad. That's another question. You are repeating the same thing again. I'm asking you. When you say the That's sentence, you say. when you okay. say the sentence, Allah bless Muhammad, as you claim. Does yes, that Allah sentence Muhammad. go to Allah or goes to Muhammad? The sentence goes to Allah okay. and the blessings go to Muhammad. Okay, but your prophet, he says the opposite. He said that your prayer will be displayed in front of me. Read it. This yeah, is the, prayer, the, the, the blessings, yes. But you just told me that the prayer will go to Allah, not to Muhammad. No, I didn't say that. I, yeah. didn't, I, told, you, I told you the sentence goes to Allah okay. and the prayer goes Here to Muhammad. Here we go. He is saying the sentence will be displayed in front of me. Read it. doesn't say, this is not the blessing. It says, read carefully. It says, okay, here we go. It says, among 
the, the most excellent of your days is a Friday. So invoke my many blessing on me. This is your translation, which the, in Arabic it says salat, not blessing, praying. On that salat. day, uh, it's, it's your blessing. blessing will be submitted to me. Yes, the okay. blessings, that's what I said. Okay, guys, in Arabic it says tu'radu alayya salatakum. Tu'rad, display in front of me. Yes, the blessings. Not not the, how you the can, sentence. How you can how you can how he can how he can see the blessing, how he can review it. Allah What do you mean? Is Allah. that something physical? Allah knows it. Allah you, knows it. Do you think Allah when, knows okay, when you ask Allah for a blessing, do Allah give Muhammad cheese, gold, silver, or something? Because how he can Allah how he can it. how, how you can it. display how you can display the prayer on the front it's of him. It's not something that we have to we have to care about. Uh, this is not something you care for. Okay. So so now okay, you see here it says they ask him, but Prophet, you will be dead and you will, your body will be decaying. He says, the, uh, the earth, uh, uh, Allah, he has a, a forbidden the earth from consuming uh, the body of the Prophet. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Is it true that your Prophet, when he die, he stink? What? Is it true that your Prophet, when he die, stink? Uh, I don't know. Let us show the hadith. I think it does. He does, uh, right? I don't Okay, yeah, I don't know. guys, be my witness. Our friend here, thank you for saying the truth. Uh, the prophet, he stink when he die. But here in the hadith says that Allah, he forbid the earth from consuming the body of the prophet. So your prophet is a false prophet. No, it doesn't have to stink for it to decay. It doesn't have to uh, like be gone if it stinks. My, the, my the, friend, the, like, you, st you stink only if your body is decaying. That's not true. Who? Like what? <laughs> but the, gases, the gases that go out. Bro, didn't you take biology? Okay. No, 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 I, I took biology, but not Islamic biology. Your biology also. Yes. So what, is the reason, what is the reason for the body to stink? For gases to go come out. The gas? Stink. Gases. The, body, the body. The body. Okay. What, yes. Okay. What about his, his nails became a green and blue? What? What? What about his nails? What about his nails and, uh, you know, even his fingers? They sh you know, they shrink and his nails became a grow and his belly became... Was, was it before? Was it before he he was buried or after he was buried? Before? And the, before, the, the hadith, for sure. You know, the hadith, this, they, they did not, they did not bury him. The they did earth, not bury him for earth. three days. They did Allah not bury him. The earth from consuming. Doesn't matter. You know, if they leave you it in the does. top of the earth, my friend. If they leave you in the top of the earth and in, in the bottom of the earth, it's the same. The earth, this is the earth. We, we are in the earth. We are not flying in the sky. And because they become blue, they are consumed? No. So you are saying that your prophet he stink not because his body was decaying. What is the purpose? What was the reason? Because gas has left his body. That's a natural, a natural thing that so happened. So you are saying your prophet was farting, and because of the fart of him when he is not dead, not fart. It doesn't mean fart. It can come out of mouth. It can come like out of any place. Okay. So what is inside the, your prophet? It's no human being. He's, okay, he's normal. What does that mean? But if you know, he's not normal human being because he said that Allah he forbid the earth from consuming the body of the Prophet. Yes, but he's he's like a normal human being. But yeah, not only him. Also, Omar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu. He was he was not the guy. Oh really? One, hundreds hundreds only of years <laughs> after. The true death. story. This is a true story. So your yeah, prophet, he, your prophet, he stink after three days after the, the first day actually. And Omar al-Khattab, he did not for a uh, hundred years? Yes, he, he might have stinked. Okay, where, 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 stink. where, where, okay, where, where do you have him? Do you have him in the museum somewhere so we can see? He's, he's in the grave. In the grave? How do you no. know then he did why, not stink? Why, why, why do we want to... Uh, we don't want that. <laughs> That's obvious. Okay, so listen. When you're a prophet, he said that Allah, he forbid our body, or the, or the earth, from consuming our body. What does this have to the, do with submitting the prayer for him? Is he dead or not? He's alive in the barzakh. <laughs> what is alive in the barzakh? Is it you? Okay, so the Quran lie when you say that you die. No. Okay, so when the Quran says "Inna kamayyat wa inna hum mayyitun," you are yes. dead, and they are dead. Correct. Yes, but the prophets are alive in the grave. That, that's his hadith. So Allah did lie because if 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 Allah he says and you are no. dead and you they you are you dead. Have the, you don't have the understanding to understand such a thing. It is in the worldly life they are there. In Dar al-Barzakh they are alive. That's a hadith. What Barzakh? Hold on, you see. 
when Allah he says you between the you don't know that oh you don't know that between the worldly life and the hereafter you no, have done we know about that, that but this is okay, why, it for now just leave it for now this is a, this is a silly thing you are saying okay hold on you want to talk about the barzakh are you sure why not okay tell me about the barzakh go ahead it's it i just told you it's a place between uh, the, the this this life okay. where we're in right now and the hereafter the yani the day of uh, resurrection Hmm. Where we can find that? What this this uh, what I just said? Yeah, no. Where we can find the the, the statement in the Quran? Yeah, it's in Hadith, I think. No, it's in the Quran. Oh uh, no! Can you show me? Yeah, chapter twenty-three, verse one hundred. Uh, I think it's the wrong one. It's what? It's not about Dar al Barzakh. Yeah, this is about the Barzakh. Tell me about it. It's in the Quran, as you see. It doesn't say Barzakh. It says Barzakh. Oh, I see. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, wait. I see it. I was the wrong one. Hmm. Yes. Okay. What's wrong? Tell me about the Barzakh. I just said. What? What, what is the Barzakh? What will happen there? Is the the punishment of the grave is there? That's okay. one thing, or 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 not? Depends on if you was righteous or not. Mm. So in the barzakh, all uh, all Muslims are alive, or only Muhammad? Not, no, the prophets and the shuhada. Speak in English. Uh, and the uh, and the marches. Okay, so what we they will be they will what we will be doing there in this barzakh? Where is? What is that exactly? What will happen? You are dead now. So do you have a do you have your body still a body or it's the dust? You hang up. <laughs> you don't know even where. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> what a religion. <laughs> Guys, he will be he will be in the barzakh. Eh? What he will be doing in the barzakh? The Quran says you are dead, and they are dead. So this 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 death is a lie, then, because if we are alive, if we are alive in the grave, then there is no death. And the Quran is a stupid book. Christian Prince, yeah. yes. Hello, brother uh, Abdul Wahid. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, Remind me of yourself. Are you an expert? Yes, Are you... fine, fine. Uh, can I have one question for you? You are a Muslim or not? Before I talk to you, remember. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. You know, there's too many people call me, as you know. There's, it's impossible oh, yeah, for yeah, me. To yeah, yeah. But you are in my heart. How can you forget me? Well, I, sorry, you know, like uh, there's tens of thousands texting me in this. Yes, yes. I, I, do believe, I do believe everything that you're saying. That is no, no problem. But the question is what I want to say. In question about in my mind, and I try to write on the you know my English is not good, okay. but the question is uh, if uh, you believe um, Jesus, uh, peace be upon God, and uh, and Jesus crucified on the um, uh, crucified, mm -hmm. but how could possible in I couldn't understand by He is a for all mankind, and God He is crucified for the people, so God. Give forgive the sins without crucifies as well. So why not God uh, uh, forgive the people without crucify if the Jesus crucified? And uh, this is a in my my mind is a not clarify. He is a crucified and after three day he uh, raised uh, again. And this is the question. Okay. See the the crucifixion. Uh, it's you know like this is what Jesus did to us. Like you have somebody he love you very much. And yeah. you have a fire in your house, God forbid. And then this person, he jump inside the fire to save you. And he yeah. he die in the fire just to save you. He was out. You know, he's not in the fire. He had nothing to do with the fire. So what we, as a Christians, we uh, we believe that Jesus, because of his love, he died in the cross. He don't have to. So when we say that we believe in the cross, it's part of what he did. 
So we believe in everything he did, not only the cross. We believe he came, we believe he teach, we believe he did miracle. If we believe in him, whatever he did, including the cross, and we ask for redemption, we will be saved. So it's not what people think or say, oh, Jesus, he have to die in the cross. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, uh, God will not forgive us. No, this is not, not really what God he said. For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son, for he loved the world. Not because he have to, not he have to, to come. He have no, he don't have to come. He don't have to die. He don't have to suffer. He don't have to do teach. He don't have to do anything. But because he love us, you remember last time I spoke to you, I remember I said to you, the, the, the fingerprint of God is love. Yeah. Okay. That is the fingerprint of Jesus. So because he loves you, he is willing to come. He knew what he would do, what they would do to, the, to him. Even in the cross, he says, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. But doesn't mean they are forgiven for all their sin. Doesn't mean they will go to heaven. He forgive them for that thing based on love. But time will come and judgment day will come. And Jesus, he will say, bring them in front of me. Those who? All of us. All of us. All mankind. Those who believe in him, they will be saved. And those who will not, they will be sent to hellfire. So Jesus is love. As long as you appreciate love and you are part of it. If you don't want to be a person who love what, what Jesus offer and the love of Jesus, well, obviously, you are in the other side and you choose your own way. So it's mistakenly people, they say, as you say, well, do God need to send a son to forgive? No, it's not about he need. It's you who need. God, he offer you salvation by saying, okay, whoever believe in my son, I will give you a chance. Whoever believe in my son who is coming to rescue you, he is going to be saved. So it's your choice to accept or to refuse. No, that, that's all right. No, uh, this is a... I am not understand. I told you my friend, they are, he's a pastor and his wife is a, they are coming on 8th November, my home. I will discuss my friend, with my friend, them. My friend, this is the, the question I, you gave me an answer. You give me the question straight. Don't tell me about family and friends. Etc. This is yeah. the question. Did, did you get the answer no. or not? Yeah, no, no. This is a not clarified. That's why I'm saying okay, God can forgive uh, without any uh, any condition because he's a God. No, 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 no. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Uh, because why I want to forgive you if you are not doing what i ask you to do there's conditions always this is this is not true this is false argument even god when he created adam and eve he gave them yeah. a condition don't disobey me here all right yeah. so if you yeah. disobey him it's your choice so in order yeah. to go back to him you have to accept that he is the one who have authority over you so either you accept his authority and then you ask for forgiveness and then he forgive you based in love or you don't want his authority so what are you what's your problem for go free, you are free. Go, don't believe in him. Be an atheist. No, 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 no. <clears throat> my question is what I am thinking. This is my question. I am thinking this way, which I tell you, I want to clarify myself. And you can like, I clear Go to the me question, no. please. Don't give me uh, that presentation. Give me, give me the answer. What do you want to say? No, that is why I, how, how uh, God has a power. What he can to do, uh, God can do. This is, not, God, this, is, this is not an argument, my friend. I, I told you, if you want to go inside my house, you yeah. have to get my permission to yeah. get in, correct? True. In order to get inside my house, you have to be clean. So yes. if you cannot be clean, you have no place in my house. So you are saying to me, I want to be dirty. I want to get inside your house. I say no. So you are. Be, this is a childish argument, my friend. With my respect to you, I'm not trying to insult you. So if somebody, you know, like me, my, myself, I will never allow somebody to enter my house wearing his shoes. Never. Doesn't matter who. Big, old, small, doesn't matter. He have to take his shoes off. So if you don't like it, don't enter my house because I will not let you. So the house of God is a holy house. In order to be in the holy house, you have to have a qualification. He created you not to be filthy. You decide to be filthy. So you are saying to me, well, I want to be filthy. Why God cannot forgive me without being filthy? This is not a condition you put in God. That's why he is God and you are not. Well, if you do not need him, don't be, be whatever you want. Don't ask him for forgiveness. All right? Anyway, I have to take more calls because I, I, like, I remember you. You just uh, telling me my friends and my families and somebody told me and etc. This, this is not a conversation. The rule is very simple. My house is holy and your filth is not welcome. So whoever want to enter the house of God, he have to clean himself from his faith. He have to redeem himself. He have to ask for forgiveness. And he, you know, he need to ask for help. Jesus said, I am the door. Knock and I will open for you. So what you are saying to me, you want 
God to open the door for you without even you knocking. You remind me of a bunch of Middle Eastern. They are so lazy. They want to commit suicide. They rented a ship to, they said the easiest way maybe to be drawn, you know. They rented a ship and the guy, he took him in the middle of the ocean. He said, okay, guys, you want to commit suicide? Okay, jump in the water. They said, can't you make a hole in the ship? Because they are so lazy to stand and jump. This is you. You want God to do everything for you. Why God? He is all uh, powerful. Why he God don't uh, forgive us? Or why he will forgive you? Give him a reason. Let us see Abdul. Hello? Yes, Mr. Mansour. Oh, uh, how are you? I'm fine. Did you hear that conversation? Yeah, sure, I heard. And do you see the title what of you my do? did you see the title of my video? The title of your video? No, no, no. I was Yeah, it says show uh, me. Uh, wait, there's there's a guy one. there's a guy, he okay. don't speak Arabic. He says show me one error in the Quran and I will leave Islam. Okay. How about the Bible? Well, our topic is that why why Muslims are like are you Muslims ashamed of the Quran? Why you are ashamed of Bible? Okay, let us say uh, okay. Do you want to talk about the Bible? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, the Quran is, is the Bible have errors? A lot of errors. Okay, so how you how your funny prophet and God says I have, I agree with what you have between your hands? Okay, who is Melchizedek? Don't don't answer. Don't 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 jump. I'm asking you. You're not giving me time. I'm asking okay. you who is Melchizedek. Hold on. How come? Hebrews. How come? Hebrews. How Hebrews come? Seven, seven, you're just making okay, drama. I will tell you Don't who is Melchizedek. But no problem. But now you answer me. If the Quran, if the Bible is full of errors and everybody heard you, you cannot take it back. Mm -hmm. So how you okay. say Where is Quran, Trinity? How, Where is Trinity? How you say the Quran? Don't change the topic. How you say the Quran says, I agree. Where is Trinity? Don't Where is the Trinity? Three gods. Where is three gods? You talk like a turtle. Do you, gods. Do you want to talk like an adult or like a kid? Can, can you debate me, CP? Can you I'm debate me with the three gods? So the Bible can you have, debate me? The, you are the one who can you debate the Bible. Me? I'm ready. People, 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 people must, must, people must know. Just get stupid idiot, son of Mata. You don't want to talk about it. If you're a stupid idiot, you confirm that the Bible is full of error and everybody heard you. Then how your stupid Quran says confirming what is with them? Who is the stupid here? Is the Quran confirming the errors with us who is Mirki Sadiq? Who, what's wrong with Mirki Sadiq? He's a great man. When the Bible says have no beginning, have no end, which means they don't know where he came from and where he left. That's all. He's a wonderful man. Who believe in God? Who is Mirki Sadiq? Okay, let me ask you, who's Idris in the Quran? Tell me where he left, Idris. <laughs> who is Saleh? <laughs> Who is even Muhammad? Who is his father? The whole Quran never mentioned even Muhammad is, 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 is son of who? Who is Musa? Who is Israel? Stupidity is amazing. <coughs> Let us see. <coughs> we just showed you a, a mistake in the Quran. Hello? Hello? Yes, What's my it? friend, you are live on air. Hi. Uh, are you a Muslim does first? Does Jesus have a... Are you a Muslim first? Yeah. Can you say yeah. Shahada first? Can you say Shahada? Ashhadu wa la ilaha illallah wa hadu wa la sharika la wa ashhadu anna Muhammad an abduhu wa rasooluhu. What does that mean? Uh, it just means that I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his uh, okay. messenger. Do Allah, say do Allah say Shahada like you? I don't know. What do you mean? I'll, I'm who is the one who supports to say know. Shahada? The one who convert to Islam or the one who is God? The Shahada is for people who want to convert to Islam, but so perhaps how, so how Allah he said something else. So, my so how Allah said Shahada then? <laughs> what do you mean? He can say anything he wants. What do you mean he can say? If, if Shahada deal. is to convert to Islam, how Allah says, I bear witness that there's no God but Allah. Buddy, you believe God can become a baby and get breastfed by a woman? How okay, why we, can we God can do, not we say can the do, Okay, no problem. We, we will talk about that and we will laugh together. Are you? Can are you I ask ready you for... a question? Okay, you can you ask think me. G... What kind of God? Okay. He says Shahada. He says he's Allah witnessing to who? 
Bro, you just love to play words with. You love to play games with words, bro. You can say what you want. I am not saying that Allah is the Lord, and there is no other God but Allah. And the angels and the holy ones are always in the text. There is no other God but Allah, the Most Gracious. Who is talking? Allah is saying. What's the problem? Yeah, what's the problem with that? I don't okay. see the problem. So, uh, He's bearing problem? witness there's that there's no, no God, God but He. Allah. Okay, Allah is saying there's no yeah. God but He. He who who is talking? Allah. Who is He? Yeah, there's no problem with that. It's a deficiency in your thinking. Oh, I know it's because English, English isn't your I first say, language, bro. If I, if I am God and I say there's no God but He, isn't it obvious I'm talking about other God? No, because you said there's, the only God is Allah and His name is Allah. Where it says that he's talking about where, where he's talking where it about says, where, it, where it says okay, where, where it says where it says the only God is Allah in the verse. Can you show me? Say the verse again. Where in the verse it says there's no God but Allah. Yeah, I need you to say it because I haven't memorized the Quran. Oh, you so, do not. Yeah. But you memorized that Jesus was a baby. Well, I mean, it's your belief, isn't it? It's quite okay, ridiculous. Okay, tell me about Jesus. Okay, you, okay, you, go you, ask me a question about uh, Jesus. Go ahead. Okay. So, did Jesus have a brother or not? Jesus have a brother or not? Well, Jesus, he called yeah. all the disciples his brothers. Okay, so did he have a biological brother or not? Doesn't doesn't change anything. So, how many sons does God have? <laughs> oh, that's a, that's, a, that's a, okay, guys. How many sons God have? I will ask you. I will answer from the Quran. The Quran says there is only one person, Mary, she gave birth to. His name is Jesus. Bro, I'm asking hold you a on, question. Hold on, hold on. Try That's the Quran. Okay. Everybody's laughing at you now. Wait, let me finish just, my question. Let me finish now, my question. I know now, you're scared. No, no, I know no, you're no, scared. You see, Abdul, Abdul. In Quran's 2.7, it Abdul, says Abdul, about Abdul, David, Abdul, Abdul, I will Abdul, proclaim Abdul. the Lord's degree. He said to me, you are my okay, son. Okay, Today I have become okay, your father. Okay, okay, so how many begotten sons does Allah have? Okay, brother. So according to the Quran, there's only one Jesus. He is the only one, the son of Mary. Did your Quran make a mistake? Pardon, say that again, sorry. You are not listening. Listen carefully. When your Quran yeah. says that Mary, she have only one son, did Allah make a mistake? No, I'm telling you that you believe that. So uh, based in your religion, David, based in your religion, you, you got yourself busted. Based in your religion, there's only one son of God. That is the son of Mary. That is Jesus. So you are being stupid. Bro, are you okay? Secondly, secondly bro, why, it the, says why, the Quran, why the Quran says that Jesus? It says why, that Allah does not forget any children. Do, do. You just love to play with words. Wallah, you're actually a joke. Your really channel is a joke, guys, I play with the word. I, I'm I wrong. Guys, guys go watch Farid respond. Does, does it say in the Quran? Does it say in the Quran? Does it say in the Quran, bro, go in the Bible, see, here, Psalms you, 2 you, 7. You, Psalms you, you 2 7. You, wanna, you, you believe God has more than one son? Come on, bro. Come uh, on, bro. Okay, okay. No, first of Fix all, up your religion, bro. first of all, Abdul, there's only one person is born. My name is Yusuf. My name is Yusuf. Your Yusuf, name is okay. Abdul, and you are no one, and you are a coward. You will not listen carefully. Abdul, I'm an Abdul. In the Quran, Allah, in the Quran and in the Bible, there's only one person. There's only one person in the Quran and in the Bible. His name is Jesus, is born of a virgin. Do you agree with that? Actually, there was more people who were born without parents, but yeah. That's another you know, question. You, actually, see, you are being stupid now. Born without parents? What that have to do with that question? I'm saying born of a virgin. Yeah, sure. Jesus was born of a virgin. Okay, if there's anything. anyone in the world besides Jesus is born of a virgin. Okay, now look at your logic. You're going to try to say that. Don't change the question. Don't change the question. Don't change the question. Don't change the question. Okay, answer my question. Does God have sperm? Abdul, 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 Abdul. If there is any person beside Jesus is born of a virgin. Nah, but that doesn't matter. Thank like, you. No, it does matter because that is only one. Bro, of the son Moses of God. split the sea. Why Jesus was born, born to a virgin, virgin mother. It's Why a miracle. Why like, of a virgin? Try twist he is it. The only one is the son of God. So we got you busted. Now we need to ask you a very simple question. Also, Why God has sprung to you now. Okay. Why I, only he has Jesus? Got DNA, yeah. Stop talking. We That's why he died on the cross. We cannot talk in the same time, please. So why only Jesus is born of a virgin in Islam? Because that's one of his miracles. What does that mean? What what kind of miracle is that? What for? It's to show that he's a special child. That's why when they ask, he, did the you say he is a special child? Ask, did you, did you see he is a special child? Yeah, he's a prophet. Every prophet is special. Okay, what is special about Jesus, and what's special about Muhammad? Well, Jesus had miracles such as being born of a virgin mother, and Muhammad had miracles such as splitting the moon. Okay, I challenge you in front of everybody to show me the miracle that Muhammad split the moon. If you can show it to me, it's I will in... shave my 20 foot beard right now. Well, I mean, it's in hadith, and the moon clearly goes ah, back together. So, in the hadith, so in the Quran, doesn't say, Bro, you know, you know what okay. you're saying. So, to hold me. on. Say so, are you saying to okay, me, show me where you, Moses you, split the sea, bro? Saying, show me where Moses split the sea. In the Quran, it says that the, the Red Sea isn't split, bro. It's still together. How come your Quran never mentioned anything about Muhammad? He did. 
In the same time, as you yeah, say, yeah, it said the moon has said, been split asunder, so the, the um, um, date of judgment is close. So listen, listen, listen. So Jesus, what is, what additional to Jesus is born in the in, in the in the uh, without a father? What what that will do to Jesus? It's just a miracle, bro. You know what? He why, actually why, had why? a father, why, but no but why, 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 father. why, why, why this miracle happened? What is the purpose of it? I, your mother, my mother, bro. I, I already told you mother. to show that he's a prophet. Like, no, you, you that will not show question. me anything about prophecy because, simply yeah, it will. Because when she pointed to Jesus in the cradle, he started talking, saying, I'm a prophet. That's wow, why they were so guys, confused. Jesus, he spoke and he said, I'm a prophet when he was what, what was his age? He was young. I don't know how it was age exactly. When, when he was young old, in the cradle. When they old. In the cradle, bro. Yeah, I don't know how old. One, one hour old. I don't know. Right don't put the bro. Okay, hold on, guys. So numbers. Muhammad don't took him forty years. Argument. Hold on. <laughs> Muhammad took him forty years to become a prophet. Jesus is born as a prophet. Who taught him to be a prophet before he was born? Well, every single prophet is a prophet. It just depends on the time that they receive revelation, and it doesn't matter. Like him speaking, saying, "I'm a prophet," as soon as he's born does not change anything and if he was god he wouldn't say that he would okay, say i am god so, and now my mother's gonna breastfeed me. okay hold on listen so jesus now, gonna die Jesus is doing breastfeeding can you show me the verse because you just said that he spoke he said i'm a prophet obviously this, this person is a growing person he says i am a prophet and he spoke as a prophet now you're a prophet after 40 years of being a man did he even become a prophet right away or he needs some Bo so you, you know what's the flow you know what's the flow of the argument in the bible itself like moses it took him time to become a prophet as well until he saw the burning bush so like okay. what you, muhammad, you're literally what, just what you're singing muhammad, it out because it's muhammad. no did, it did not take him did not take him did not take him many time to become a prophet because if god he chooses to be a prophet you will become a prophet when you deliver a message oh, okay so, same thing so now so now hold on okay so allah, allah, okay. You don't know. okay what what was what? was muhammad believer in allah yeah what, what how how you can prove it to me i mean he went to the cave to pray for however long before you received wahi where it says that he is went to the grave uh, to the to the cave to cave pray. cave cave uh -huh. it's, yeah. it's in it's in hadith i believe uh, so but, well, I mean, everything it's, it's is in the, the hadith we, the everything is in the hadith we cannot find anything in the Quran. bro do you know what's funny our weakest hadith is more stronger and reliable than your best bible verse okay That's what's so, funny and so, you're trying so to criticize why, so, why allah, so why allah he says i confirm what is with them the, speaking about the christians did Allah made a mistake? He's talking about the original Injil, not the ones no, that you no, corrupted. No, he said, what is between their hands? Yes, the original Injil between the what? original Christians. So Christian are you hands. saying that the Christian at that time who worshipped Jesus? They have the, no, the, the, the original Christians did not worship Jesus. Paul came along and Paul started Abdul, Abdul. telling them, okay. worship Jesus, when, guys, because I saw a vision. Okay, hold on. Let me get you busted. You guys literally follow, uh, you on, follow Paul, on, a guy who still murder Christians. Uh, okay, really, really. listen, Abdul. So, we, 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 wanna, we don't want to jump something important. You said that Muhammad was, he went to pray in the cave. He was praying yeah. to who? To Allah, bro. Who else, man? Like, what, what, you, what am I going to tell you? Like, what do you think? Okay, I'm asking you for the last time. What was the God name Allah Muhammad he mentioned when he prayed to him before? I don't know. I wasn't that. Okay. Was Muhammad was was Muhammad a believer? Uh, well, at the time of the cave, he was clearly praying to Allah. So no, no, that's another yes. question. I'm asking you. Okay, so he was a believer. Yes. So if yeah, I, I show you, if I show you, if I show you from the Quran that Muhammad he was a pagan from the Quran, what you would do? I mean, you're probably just going to give me a verse that's been twisted and you're going to say, no, yes or no, yes or no. Uh, you see, the Muslim, when they say, you properly, you are going to give me a verse properly twisted, right? Properly. <laughs> but you know what you do? You okay. leave out the tafsirs, you leave out all of the customs. Hold on, hold on, You hold make on. your own okay. interpretation. Do you, okay, do you, do you accept tafsir? Let Muslim me ask you, do you accept tafsir? Yeah, but, but not all of them. The one that have consent. Okay, hold on. You see, don't believe the one, with the, oh, okay. the one with the ijma. Oh, okay. Okay, give me a give me a scholar. You agree with him that he is the one who can give you tafsir for the Quran? Every scholar, every single scholar makes mistakes. Only Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam does not make mistakes. So unless it's with the ijma, this, is, this is not the question. Ijma, this is not the question. This is not the question. So are you saying to me that all your Muslim scholars cannot explain the Quran? No, they can all explain the Quran, but all of them will have some parts of it wrong. That is what I'm saying. Okay, but you just said Ijma. Every single scholar makes mistakes. But you said Ijma. You said Ijma. Isn't it your prophet? He yeah. says, My nation will not agree upon something wrong? Yes, which means that if there's a big uh, congregation agreeing on it, however, sometimes it can be the small congregation, but 
usually if it's the big congregation agreeing on a certain interpretation or meaning of something, then it's okay. the correct one. All right. Chapter 42, verse number 52, it says that Muhammad, he have no idea what is God, what is belief, and what is the scriptures, and he was not a believer. In a similar way, we have a real to you a spirit. Let me read it one second. Spirit block. Yeah, in a similar way, we have revealed to you a spirit from our command. You did not know earlier what was the book, a.k.a. you did not know what the Quran was, or what the true Iman was, mm -hmm. a.k.a. what the true religion was, in the okay. sense that how to worship Allah. Okay. But we made it, the Quran, a light for which we guide whomsoever we will from among our servants, and indeed, you are guiding to a straight path. That mm -hmm. doesn't. That means... He could have still been believing in Allah, but he doesn't know the straight way. Did Is you? it you? Because he wouldn't know. He wouldn't know about how to fast. He wouldn't know about oh, okay. how to pray. Okay, how to fast. Well, it says it says that you know nothing about revelation. Correct. Let me double check. No, it didn't say nothing. It says you just didn't know what the book is and you didn't know the faith. Okay, so what does that mean? That means you didn't know. know. So when you yeah, say, I'll tell you what I mean. when I say to you, you, you do know. not know. When I say to you, you do not know. Is that saying? <laughs> I, is that saying I, you, you know some? I said you don't know. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you do not know. You could know some, but you so did why not, Allah he didn't say you do you not know? know you know what the difference is? Okay. No, do, Are you, you know saying the, the Quran? Are you saying your God he made a mistake when he says you know not what is books and you know not what is faith? No, the mistake is with the way you're looking at it, because let me tell you what you're trying to do. You are twisting it. It says you did not know what the book is. Mm. The book meaning the Quran. He did not know any of the verses. Uh -huh. And you did not know the faith. Is what the, is is the, the faith? word Quran is the there? Faith. Is the word Quran is there? Yes, he did not know what the Where Quran is. Where is the word Quran? Why are you adding the word Quran? Why are you Muslims are fabricating? Do you add words it's to the Quran? No, 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 no. no. Okay. The word is not Quran, but the word is Al Kitab. Okay, what Al Kitab? Uh, what Al Kitab? Book. What Al Kitab? The book, the book. Okay, what Al Kitab? Kitab. Is it the Quran? Book. Is it the Quran says people have been. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. He didn't know the book before. He didn't know hold the on. Quran. Hold on, yes, hold on. When the Quran says Ahlul Kitab, he means the Christian and the Jews, correct? But you're going to try to make this seem as if it's talking about the Bible or something. Even if we're talking about the Bible, it's completely fine. Because he, if he, in fact, that supports my argument. Because if he did not know about the Bible before, how could he have plagiarized anything? Thank you very much. Guys, he just said Muhammad, Yo, he, you nothing, hold on, hold on. He, he just said that <laughs> Muhammad, he know nothing about the Bible. He know nothing about any scriptures. And, no, then, that's, and not only bro, that, that's your interpretation. And, no, you just told me that. You just said it. No, I said okay. you're going to try to twist it. Okay, you don't know let us say, I want you to twist it, not me. I want you to help me. So when the Quran says, you want me to tell you what it is? When the Quran says, you know not what is faith, you know not what is faith. What was the faith of Muhammad at that time? Faith, okay, so Iman. What is Iman in Islam? Faith. Iman consists of many pillars. Mm. For example, believing in the angels believing in the previous books, etc. Mm. We know he believed in one God, Allah, but that is just a part of faith. He did not know the full faith, did he? He didn't so know he what? He, 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 knew, he, didn't know. he knew only the, about the, the shin of Allah? Guys, you do not know the full faith. He have some faith. What faith? It says he... It says he knew, you know he knew not. that Allah is it one says, and that he wasn't a baby and by his mother. You, and he didn't you, die on a cross. You are a scam or everybody is laughing at you. It says, وَمَا كُنْتَ تَدْرِ You know not. You did not say you not know some. He didn't say, you know, only few. Brother, Muslims brother, that's, not what, that's so, not what I'm so arguing about. That's not what I'm arguing about. So look what happened yes, now. Let you go, did, let you did not know do. the faith. You did not know the faith. Okay, you did not what know is the faith. faith. So um, Muhammad, okay, okay. Well, was can Muhammad you give me one second, Abraham? please? Was Muhammad, you did. was Muhammad following Abraham according to you Muslims? I don't know about that. What do you mean? Don't you call him Abrahamic? You say Islamic is Islam is Abrahamic religion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, right now, right now, he is following Abraham. But before Islam, I do not know if he be my believed witness, Abraham guys. to be a true God or not. Witness. I mean, to be a be true prophet. Be my witness. He just said before that day, he did not know if he was following. No, no, Abraham I said I don't know. I don't twist my words. Don't twist my words. I said I don't know if he knew. Okay. I said so, I don't know. So let, 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 let us go back to zero. Let's go you, back to zero. Uh, let me let me help you. I will help you. I will give you escape. Jesus is born in the cradle. He says, I am a prophet. Muhammad is 40 years old man. Still, he have no faith. He know nothing about scripture. No, he did he have it. I told you God. he believed in Allah. I told you. When it says Allah. that, you are a liar. Read the verse with me. It says in front of you. It says, you know. Okay, so why, is why was he in the cave worshipping Allah then? So how does that this make This is a fabrication. Are you, against, are you against the Quran it's, now? It's are not, you, are you saying, are you saying the Quran making a lie that Muhammad, he know nothing about God. He know if, nothing about faith. He know nothing about the scriptures. Does it say that or I'm making things up? 
Okay, if you're a fair person right now, if give me 20 seconds to tell you. You give me 20 seconds, yeah? Go ahead, I will give you, go ahead. Okay, go, all right. I am not arguing about you. I'm not arguing with you about, and he did not know the faith. I'm not arguing about, and not. I'm arguing with you about the word faith. He did not know the faith. Hmm. Yes, he did not know the faith, but what does that mean? That doesn't mean he did not know the belief in one God. That just means that he did not know the full faith. So he was believing in something wrong before? No, he was believing in a part of it. He was believing well, that there was only one God, but he didn't. He didn't know that God has angels who do certain things for him. He didn't know uh, all the specifics. Guys, he did not know that Allah have angels. Uh -huh. No, no, he knew. He, he might have knew that he had angels, but not the specifics. Uh -huh. Yeah, like, that's uh, specific. Like uh -huh. That's specific. Okay, exactly. I will go with you. So uh, Muhammad, that's me. Uh, Muhammad, he has zero knowledge about this God, correct? Because you just no, said no, he I don't say that. You keep twisting it, bro. It's, you, it's you who said that. Keep... It is you who no, said. I it said, is you who said you do not know my zero percent. I said maybe something like forty percent. You something like that. Okay, he didn't guys, know everything. Guys, but Muhammad. Talking, went, but then when it was Muhammad revealed, went that's to school. Hold on. You just yeah. said forty percent. Muhammad. He went to school. Perhaps. Perhaps. Okay, but Mr. Perhaps. Muhammad, he went to school, and this is the guy, he is his teacher. He gave him 40% a grade in his exam. He asked him, who is Allah? Wrong no, answer. it's not because of that. Faith? Wrong he, answer. So he knew that there was only, only one God, and that the people worshipping idols were wrong. That's up. what he knew. What, and then after the angel Jibreel came to him and told him revelation, that's when he figured out what, everything else. Abdul, what you just said is amazing. You just said that Muhammad properly he knew 40%. And this is perhaps, according to you, perhaps. So yeah, it's because perhaps, he knew that there was one good only, so it's but perhaps, he did not it's know perhaps, that there were things such it, as fasting within Ramadan, such as not eating okay. pork. As long but after the angel Jibreel came to him, that's when he figured out the rest of it. Okay, that is the whole guys, argument. Now, now and what you are saying right now is you're just saying with words, which is what Christian He figured out the rest of it. Abdul, listen. Worshipping Allah is the main purpose of Islam, correct? Yeah. So why he's saying you have no faith? But that doesn't mean you. He didn't say you have no faith. He said, he said you have no faith. But that doesn't mean that's the whole faith. The whole faith isn't just worshiping Allah. Because if that was the case, then the Jews would also be Muslims. But they aren't. Why? Because they deny the Messiah and they deny the Prophet. If you deny any of the prophets, you have committed kufr. So, so that is the whole faith. Okay. So, guys, the whole faith and the part of the faith. But the Quran says you have no faith. He didn't say you have little faith. Some yeah, faith. but. Yeah, because the denying, not knowing about any of the prophets, denying the prophets is kufr. But the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he had faith. He had, he so had I believed in one God. I but that was, that was before Muhammad faith. became a prophet, what he was, his religion. You could not answer. He was a, he was, he was a Hanafi. He was a monotheist. Thank you. Hanafi, that's mean. He had faith. So the Quran is wrong. This is, a, this is an error. No, no, no. Because the Quran is saying you did not have faith of what they brought down. Did he know about fasting? Did he? Tom, did he what know about, about this? Do he have faith in because God that, or that's not? Part of the, My friend, did he, did he fasting, have, no, no, that's not it, bro. Faith, that's fasting, not it. Do, 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 to have belief, you need to believe in the rules as well. Listen, fasting is not faith. Fasting, You're trying to twist it. You're trying to say that fasting, faith is only fasting believing is in God. Fasting is of not eating. Wait, let me ask you something. Do? Can I be a Christian if I believe in God, but I don't believe in Jesus? Can I be a Christian if I believe in God, but I don't believe in Jesus? It says he have zero faith. No faith. He did not say he have some. So look what you did. You are the one who twist the verse. And you accuse me of a twisting, you have to add some. He knew few. He don't I never said Allah. some. No, he had he did not have faith before this. Mm -hmm. But and what is faith? Faith is the complete belief in God and his messengers uh -huh. and all the other things. Okay. However, so, he did believe in God, but he did not know about any of the other things. Okay. Is uh, Muhammad in the hadith he kissed the black stone? Is that part of the faith? Muhammad he have doing wrong? What uh, kissing the black stone? Yeah. Is that what Allah it's a made? Of, it's a form of it's a form of ibadah, yeah. Okay, but Allah did not tell him kiss the black stone. But how do you know that? You tell me. Show me. Did Allah tell him to kiss the black stone? Well, every well we know in the Quran it says that the things that he says is not from his desires. It's from wahi. It's from revelation. So if he okay. did it, then clearly yes. it's from revelation. Everything, everything he say is not from his desire. So what about the Quran saying that shaitan he throw in the desire of the prophet? I don't. Well, would where? What was? You do not know. You do not know this uh, shaitan no. process. No. Can you send me it? <clears throat> Here we go. Look at the screen, and I want you to read it. Uh, how do, I can't see your screen. One second. Hmm. Be rem remember, it's it's you who said Muhammad. He said he speak nothing of his own desire. Desire. The Quran says that Muhammad he speak based on the desire of shaitan. I can't see your screen. 
Chapter 22, verse number 52. Chapter which one, sir? 22, verse number 52. Satanic verses. 2252. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I need to accept that one. Yeah, so and so and we did not send you a messenger before you, except that when he spoke, Shaitan threw into it some misunderstanding. However, Allah abolishes that which Shaitan throws into it, then Allah makes precise his verses and Allah is knowing and wise. Are you done? Yeah, he is it you Allah who said, gets rid of is what it you, Shaitan throws. Is it you who just said to me, Shaitan he throws some misunderstanding? But it says Allah abolishes it. <clears throat> and hold on, hold on. No, no, this not, no, no, focus with me. Focus with me, Abdul. Shaitan, I, know, I know you want to focus Sh on the beginning Shaitan, of that verse Shaitan, because it is that's you the part said, that makes you happy. Let me talk. I let you talk. Let me talk. Sadly, at the end of the verse, it says sadly, Allah abolishes what Satan says. No problem, guys. Allah will abolish. abolish. Allah will abolish. Take, take, you know, Allah will bring detergent. This is another question. Hold on. Yeah. You just say, this is your translation, not mine. You said, Shaitan, he threw some misunderstanding on the Prophet. Mouth and yeah, okay. some mis some misunderstandings into okay. the Okay, how shaitan he can do that? How shaitan he can do that to a person? Is that by controlling him? No. It's, how? Well, I mean, actually, I don't, I don't know how exactly he would do it in this scenario, but he would do it somehow. I don't know the details behind it. You can't like ask me like it's like a science where I know like oh yeah, it's this much. Like, well, well, okay, but you do not know science. Suddenly now it's about science and a, a second ago... Bro, you're, you're, you're asking, asking you it like it's some me. chemistry equation, like oh, how, chemistry? Like, how he threw the, the doubts into talking. it. It is you who said to me, Shaitan, he throws some misunderstanding. Bro, do you know why you're a hypocrite? Because so, it literally that, says in the is, Bible is that, that Jesus that, that, was, that, was, was that, okay. enticed by the devil. Okay, Abdul, no. Like, you believe that your God got enticed by the devil? Abdul, the Bible says that Shaitan, he tried to tempt Jesus, but he failed. But here... Muhammad, he is under the control of shaitan. Oh, no, but here it says Allah, uh, shaitan did it, but then Allah abolished it. Thank so you. What's the difference? So Allah did it, shaitan did it, Allah will fix it. That means Muhammad is fully controlled by shaitan. So Allah, he have to do something to, to it. No, Muhammad, no, 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 no. Why no, what did do you mean? No, 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 no. It's you who no, said No, 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 no. You're putting words on my mouth. Okay. Allah will control? abolish what? Allah no, no, show me where. No, 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 you made the claim. Don't run away. Where does it say his, his actions are fully controlled by shaitan? Don't run away from this claim. Are you challenging me? Yeah, where does it say he is fully okay. controlled Can by Can you give me like a week to find you the answer? Because I don't have my my reference ready. So why did you just... Okay, go ahead. Uh, I mean, you're going to have to find where it says Shaitan okay, fully found controls them explicitly. It, it took me a week, but I asked my Afrit to find it. And he is very fast. And you know the story of Afrit and that Suleiman, the genie, the very fast. Here we go. This is the story says that Muhammad said that Shaitan, he command me, but to do good. Oh, you're talking about the one where, okay, you're talking about the one where everybody has a Qarian, so everybody has a jinn that's close to them, mm. but everybody gets evil doubts from it. Mm. However, the one that was close to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam actually became good and became a Muslim because mm. Allah helped him mm. and he actually enjoins him in good. So I don't like, I don't can see you, the issue with that because we, we know, my friend, we can know you, jinn can, can you be good and bad. It says shayateen, shaitan, shayateen. So he's Satan for sure. He's not just a genie. What? He's a no, shaitan. No, no, no. What? What? Okay. What is a shaitan? What is a shaitan? Tell me. Shaitan is a shaitan. What is a shaitan? A shaitan is a, is from the jinn, correct? Doesn't matter, but not all the jinn are shaitan. No, no, no. It, do, it does matter. No. A shaitan. Not the every jinn, genie correct? is a shaitan, and not every shaitan. But every shaitan is a genie. So shaitan is one of the jinn. No, 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 you just got that wrong as well, you can't. This guy just said every shaitan is a genie. In the Quran, it even says shaitan min jinnity, where that's, it says uh, shaitan's from the people and from the jinns. So you yeah. just made a statement that was wrong again. So you are wrong. There, there are, there are shaitan is from the well. jinn. Is shaitan from the jinn or not? What's wrong with you? Yeah, but there okay. are human jinn. So every shaitan, shaitan well. every shaitan is a genie, but not every genie is a shaitan, idiot. So how every wrong? Genie is shaitan. So how I'm wrong? No, you just go back. Let's go back. Abdul, focus on me. Focus on me. You just said. You just said. Drink money. Drink money. You do that. Every shape. Shaitan is commanding Muhammad. Every shape. Who is the one who command your prophet? Every shape. Who is the one who command your prophet? God or Shaitan? Bro, you got your statement wrong. No, every Shaitan is a genie. Every Shaitan is a genie because Shaitan is one of the genies. Bro, oh my God. Okay, wait. What's wrong with you? You do not know your religion. No, 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 no. I need to get you this one second. One second.
<laughs> you do not know that shaitan is a genie, are you sure? They are human shaitan as well. Uh, those are supposedly people who they are commanded by shaitan. But the only shaitan no, is no. the one is from the jinn. Here we go, chapter 18. I will help you, I will help you, I will, I will help you. Chapter 18, verse number 50. Chapter 18, verse number 50. Yeah, I'm looking up. <clears throat> and the rest of the shaitan are his children. According to your scholars, shaitan, he have a children, correct? Yeah. Okay, how he have a children? Is it true that Allah created for him a penis in the right thigh and a vagina in the left thigh? And then he laid in eggs? And then oh, I don't eggs. know. You don't know. It's you who said to me, I'm twisting. I can show you the interpretation. Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit busy looking something up right now. Uh, okay, but, yeah, Mr. Go ahead, okay Mr. Busy. So now Shaitan is, is Shaitan, is of the jinn, and the rest of Shaitan are the children. All the Shaitans are from this guy. He is a genie, so his children will be genie like himself, correct? Uh... Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I like that. But yeah, uh, 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 uh. bro, so, I'm not gonna lie. So, so listen now. So now Shaitan, so Shaitan, so Shaitan, he throw in the mouth of Muhammad satanic verses. How Allah he allows such a thing? I thought Quran huh? is a pres I thought Quran is a preserve. Bro, say that again. Shaitan, he okay, throw. Okay, I think I found. I think I found it. I think I found it. Wait, 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 let me see. Okay, I'm gonna send you something. One second. Don't send me. Put just it up on it. the screen, yeah. Put uh, it up on the screen. Okay, just read it. Just tell me what are you reading? Okay, go uh, Surah 114. Hmm. Okay, and 114. Are you sure you wanna go there? You will. Be, you will regret. I'm trying to help you. Honestly. Okay, well, I think it's the wrong one. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. What were you saying? <clears throat> what were you saying? <laughs> okay, let's go back to zero. So, Allah, He is going to clean the Quran from the satanic verses, correct? He will yeah. abolish it. Okay, that's mean in a certain moment, Quran was full of satanic verses. No, it just means that there were misunderstandings within it. Okay, hold on. A second ago, you said, yeah. A second after, you said, no, that means there's misunderstanding. I said to you, remember what I said. Uh, 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 Satan, he made satanic verses. Allah will abolish it. You said, yeah. I yeah. Said, I said actually, actually, I said exactly. Quran is full in Quran uh, satanic verses in a certain moment, and Allah will abolish it. You said, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So how Satan was able to make the Quran full of satanic verses, and Muhammad did not notice that this is from Satan. You just said full. It's not full. It would have been. It doesn't like, matter. Full or half would, or fifty. I will. I will give it forty percent, like what you said before. So forty percent. So if a sentence, if a sentence comes from the shaitan and mm -hmm. Allah abolishes it, then okay, what is the problem? Okay. With that? How? How? But that shit. But that sentence is about worshiping the three daughters of Allah. Where? So how Muhammad did not notice that worshiping the three daughters of Allah will make him out of what he claimed to be monotheism. Because now he approved Allah and Manat and Al Uzza. So now we have four goddesses, three three females and one male. You Muslims worship four gods, and this is what your prophet worship. And the verse here is about Allah will take those verses, which is called satanic verses, from the Quran. So how Muhammad did not notice that Shaitan is giving him satanic verses about worshipping the three daughters of Allah? Because the shaitan threw misguidance within his heart, but then okay. Allah abolished it. Thank you. So shaitan, guys, he misguided the prophet in his heart, and he made him. That doesn't. That doesn't mean he's always misguided. That he's not that always. Not, yeah, he's not always. He's sometimes. Sometimes. Nah, nah, okay, sometimes. nah. Not, some, not sometimes. Every yeah. time he gets abolished, I'm what? Okay, guys. Each time it gets abolished. So shaitan, he do poo poo inside Muhammad. Allah, he clean it. He get he get him to the sink. He put him in the kitchen. And he start like he cut his throat. Is that why the Allah he cut? Nah, bro, bro, no, no, no. You know what? If you speak like that, I'm I'm gonna have to hang up. So you need to you need to have manners when you're speaking. What's you wrong with that? Is it isn't it your prophet? He says Allah he sent three angels to cut his throat from all the way to his testicles to clean him. No, if you talk, if you if you speak like that, then I'm I'm gonna hang up the call. Okay, I'll get lost. Don't put condition on me. I'm your master.
Coward. Everybody is dying laughing at you. I made you famous. We are done with you. You don't know, speak like that. I'm going to hang up. Hang up. You are the one who just said, Shaitan, brother, he miss through misunderstanding sometime. How come this has never happened to Jesus? How come never happened to anyone? And as long we agreed that Shaitan, he threw some misunderstanding, and that misunderstanding become Quran, then Quran is from Shaitan. What a stupid religion. This is how stupid this card is. And they say to you, find me one error. All of the Quran is an error. I mean, how this is from God, and how we can even be sure that this verse is not from Shaitan. Because if Shaitan was able to put once or twice or three times verses in the Quran, well, he can add this one and say to you, relax, relax, this is, I took it away, I took it away, I'm Allah. Correct, people? If Shaitan was able to put satanic verses once, he can add this verse. What is my guarantee that this verse itself is not from Shaitan? There's no guarantee. Same time, if you read the story, you will see that Muhammad he went home. And then Jibreel, he come to him. And he said to him, Khabibi Muhammad. Khabibi Muhammad, what you did Muhammad? Muhammad, he said, what's up, what's up? He said, today, Khabibi, you will ship the three daughters of Allah. Muhammad, he said, I did? Who do you know who the heck? He bowed down to them. This is misunderstanding. So let us go back to zero. He called to make fun of Jesus, that Jesus is born, he was a child. And do he have a brother? Well, the Quran and the Bible confirm there's only one person. His name is the Messiah. The son of Mary, who is born without a virgin, without without a husband, sorry. That's me. There's only one. No one like him. Your God have a brother? See the city? Your God have body? Well, your God Allah is a shin. And if we ask the Muslims, who is the one who made Mary have a child? They will say, Allah. So who is the father of Jesus based on this? The one who made my mother deliver me, have me, is my father. She did not have a child from the wind, obviously. So who is the father of Jesus? Why only Jesus have no father and he's born yet? The most time they will say to you, the Quran answer you, the Quran get you busted. It says the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam. Stupid. Adam was not born. Idiot. Not only you are a bunch of idiots, your God is an idiot when you try to refute the Christians. Because Adam is not like Jesus. In any way, in any mean. First, Adam was made from dust. Secondly, Adam was a sinner. Number three, Adam was not born. Number four, Adam was kicked out of heaven. Number five, Adam in Islam is a maniac. He's a fool. He's a stupid. He claimed that he commit sin because his God, he wrote the scenario of the movie that he will commit sin before he was created. That is a scenario of an idiot. However, this is a scenario of Muhammad too. While Jesus is born without father. In the Quran, Jesus spoke in the cradle. Muhammad, he waited 40 years. The angel came to him. He squeezed him three times. Said to him, read Muhammad. Says, I can read him. You have no idea what's happening, supposedly. How come Jesus do not need Jibreel to receive revelation? How come Jesus is born with the revelation? The answer for that is very simple. For Jesus is the word of God. And that word sent down to us. And the word of God is God. John chapter 1 verse number 1. And the word of God became a flesh 
John chapter 1, verse number 14. And the stupid Quran who was trying to copy the book of John said the same. Said that Jesus, Aka Isa, even Muhammad cannot even call the name correctly of the Messiah, Yeshua, saying clearly that Jesus is the Word of God who sent down to Mary. So where was the Word? With God. And who was that Word? Jesus. So before Jesus became a flesh, he was exist as the Word of God. If you ask Muslims, is the Word of God created? They will say no. Is the Word of God is eternal? They will say yes. That is Jesus. He is not a created. And he is eternal. So what is missing? All people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion. Quran chapter 4, 171. No say of Allah, all but the truth. Christ Jesus, son of Mary, was between two brackets. Look at the Muslim, they add things. Between two brackets, no more than. I like this, no more than. Okay, he is a messenger of Allah. That's wonderful. And his word. Is Muhammad the word of Allah? No. <laughs> is Ibrahim the word of Allah? No. What about Adam? No. Only Jesus. Not only that. The Quran, the stupid Quran, trying to copy the book of John, did not stop there. He is his word, which is bestowed on Mary. So the word came from above. This is why Jesus said, I am from above, you are from below. And most then they say to you, where Jesus says, I'm God. He just told you, I'm from above, you are from below. That means he's from above. I am not from this earth. I am not from this world, he said. Not only this earth, this world. And then the stupid Quran continues saying, and the spirit proceeding from him. Jesus is the spirit of God. Even in the city, stupid Quran. Don't cry when you call me. When you call me, you ask for it. Let us see, maybe we have Abdul. This guy is, he is using the internet of the neighbor. <coughs> Who is next? Uh, we tried to call you, but you're, you cannot, I don't know, your internet is bad. Let me try again. <coughs> Yes, that's your daddy. You gonna run again? Uh, here we go. <laughs> the, the stupid boy. The guy who do not know Arabic, he don't accept any translation, and he do not need interpretation for the Quran, but he have full understanding of the Quran. <laughs> and he consider any Muslim, any Muslim, who accept the Hadith is a donkey. That will be include your prophet. But guys, just to show you the, 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 the IQ of the Muhammadan, just to show you an example. You will not believe what you will see. Let me get it for you. And that will make you understand that this religion is a religion of idiots. The Prophet said, don't take down anything from me. And he who took down anything from me, except the Quran, he should efface that. What?
the prophet he just told you don't write down what I say you write it down the guy he just said to you don't write down Abdul your prophet just said to you don't write down what I am saying now you write down what the prophet says don't write down what I'm saying now and before and before he just told you don't write it do you see the level of the intelligence of this cult? The Prophet said, if you write down anything other than the Quran, erase it, efface it, shish kebab it, falafim it. The Muslim they wrote that the Prophet says, don't if I assure you that the one who was writing the scribe of Muhammad, he was uh, Uthman ibn Farooq. Stupidity is amazing. And then the fruit of that, you will see someone like this guy, ultimate fault, who do not know English. So he do not know Arabic. He cannot read even a word in the Quran. And he do not need to know Arabic. I mean, why I need to why I need to know Arabic to understand the Quran? So what translation you accept? Yeah, I don't accept translation. <laughs> Who's next? Do we have any next? Open challenge. The Quran is a book of errors. We can't even count. You see, all those things we mention is an error. How the Muslim they say to us that Allah He preserved the Quran? Okay, it's too late. If the Quran confirmed that Allah He is going to take out satanic verses, that means the Quran is not preserved. If the Muslim, as we heard the Abdul saying, that Shaitan he throw some misunderstanding. So even Muhammad, he had meant this misunderstanding of Islam. And who is behind that? Shaitan, brother. So if Muhammad himself can't be trustworthy, who's next? Uh, he was asking about the Bible. No, we answer very easy. Jesus have a brother or have no brother? That doesn't make any difference. What do you mean we cannot answer him? That is a very silly argument. And the Quran itself, you see, always you want to get Muslim Abdul busted. If you may, if you go and explain verses from the Bible, we will not change anything for him. He will say to you, I don't accept it anyway. The Quran said that Jesus is the only son of Mary. The Quran said that Mary, she gave only one son as a virgin. That's it. And the Bible agree. There's only one son. The virgin Mary, she gave as a virgin. If she had, if, had, if, she, if Mary, she have children after that, will not change anything. Because it's still, the son who is born from the virgin is that one is Emmanuel. That one is God with us. Do we have any Abdul? Are you against your Quran too? So the point of Muslim they try to make always is try to make to put Jesus down. But look at this. Jesus is holy even in the silly Abdul book. Muhammad is not. See, the Muslims, they say, they call Muhammad holy prophet, but do you know that the Muslims, they are ignorant, they knew that Muhammad is a big time sinner. The only one was called holy is Jesus. Another error in the Quran, which is, Endless errors. Chapter 48, verse number 2. You remember when I said to him, how Allah, he say, Allah witness to Allah that there is no God but Allah, which is a stupid God speaking to himself in the mirror. Look at this error here. This is about Muhammad have sinned. The Muslim they falsely translate says fault. Faults do not need forgiveness. Sin need forgiveness. So what is the Arabic word says? ليغفر لك الله ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر ذنب ذنب in Arabic sin 
send your do against God. You change the translator, you will find suddenly a new version of it. Sin, no fault. That Allah may forgive your sin. May forgive your sin. Obviously, this is a man, his name is Muhammad, writing Quran, asking his God to forgive him for his sin, which means the Quran is a fabrication. Because if Allah is talking, Allah will not wish to Allah to forgive the sin of Muhammad. Mr. Truth, you are a Muslim? You are asking us to explain in biology, Mr. Truth? Are you making a challenge for us? Here we go, let us go to the embryology of Muhammad. I forgot to tell you that Muhammad, he was a doctor in the same time, not only a prophet. So look at the embryology of Muhammad, a Muslim, his name is the truth, I don't know why I don't... Text me in Skype, I will call you so people can hear you. The embryology of Muhammad. Hey, Dr. Muhammad, tell us about how the baby is made. Uh, maybe Zakir Naik can tell us better because he's a doctor. I don't even call me, Zakir Naik. How in the world you know it's me? First of all, you are the one who you call me when I'm eating. You what? You are the only one who called me when I'm eating. Uh, you are eating now, sorry for that, but you don't sound like you're eating. When I was eating bad things, I mean, my mother in law here, I have four of them. Okay, Zakir, your prophet said that you are a doctor, so I need your consultation here. It says that the messenger of Allah, the truthful and the receivable of the truth, and he was a satellite prophet, Muhammad, satellite, informed us saying, the creation of you, human, gather in the form of a semen in the belly of your mother or the womb of your mother for 40 days. Can you explain that to us? Great breath. It is proven scientifically that a human being, when he has ejaculating, he will what? Ejaculating. Uh, uh, ejaculation. Exactly. He make a ejaculating. Okay. And then he made another ejaculating. Uh, okay. And then he make another ejaculating. Uh -huh. So he keep doing that for 40 days. Uh -huh. And all the exact thing goes inside the mother wife. Uh -huh. And the woman, she stored him. Mm -hmm. She stored the ejaculation there. Exactly. For 40 days. Why she need all this ejaculation? She is going to make a uh, hummus, uh, yogurt. Christian Prince, this is science. And this is scientifically proven to be true. Look, what the heck? It's like an egg. How do you know that this is scientifically proven to be true? I will give you as an example. My father, he could not help me for 40 years. 40 years? Yes, because my mother she was collecting ejaculation. She was collecting ejaculation for 40 years? Sorry, I made it 40 years, 40, 40 days. How you know that this has happened? You were not born yet. Christian Prince, you need it. I was one of those semen, so I'm a lead witness, first hand witness. You were a first hand witness, and you were one of those semen? Christian Prince, so I think I came to life. You're stupid. I never thought about this second night. You were a first hand witness for what happened. You were a semen, and you were watching that. Exactly. Actually, I remember when my father had a great thing. Uh, it don't, it don't me. Like what? It don't, it don't me. Like what? What does that mean? It doesn't mean this is not right to say for you know like it's very adult language. Ah, oh, okay. So don't say it then. So Christian Prince, I'm Thor. Now you're convinced. And I'm Thor. Oh, hold on. Don't tell me Thor and Thor. You, you. First of all, let me get my umbrella. Secondly, according to Prophet Gogo, peace be upon him, it says that semen can live inside the women of a max of five days. So how semen? Live for 40 days inside the wind. Furthermore, the study they made about semen in Google is made for normal women. Most women are different. What the heck? Muslim women are different, Zakir Nayak? <laughs> Do we need even to prove to you that your prophet is a fraud? Ejaculated sperm remain blah 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 up to five days. Muhammad he just added a zero next to it. I mean what a big deal. 
it's the same. I mean, what's the difference between five days and 40 days? The error is only 35 days, brother. What's wrong with you? I think there's an Abdul trying to call us. Let us help the Abdul. Oh, this is a this is ultimate fault I think ultimate fault. Let's, let's have fun with ultimate fault. Just for fun. Yeah, okay, take care. I'm not going to spend the day trying to call you. So my friends, they say to us, "Can you find us a mistake?" Oh, the Quran is a mistake. I mean, as long as we are talking about in biology, and Mr. Truth is in the chat. He's a Muslim. He is the one who challenged us to talk about it. Let us talk about it. What kind of God, he say, that a semen transformed into a congealed dead blood? Huh? Is that a God? Or a Bedouin guy in the desert, he have no idea what he's talking about. Chapter 23, verse number 14. Guys, do you remember the Dawah team? They, they made a video and I got them busted. I think we still have it there. Go watch it. They said, brother, brother, first of all, the word soul mean male member. <laughs> and the word tribe obviously is not the ribs. Like, what the heck? And the proof of that, go to the dictionary. We went to the dictionary in two seconds. We found that it is the ribs. And not only the ribs, it is the location of the necklace in the ribs. This guy, he called me. I don't receive his call. Hello. Ultimate. Hello. Hello, yes. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. So you are a Muslim, my friend? <clears throat> yes, yes. I, I, I've seen you on, on YouTube. Okay, what do you like to say to us? You are live, like on, you are live on air. Really? Yeah, we are live on air now. What do you like to say to us? How many people are there? Not many. Let me count. Give me time until tomorrow. I will tell you. Uh, it's two thousand almost. <laughs> yeah, because I need to count them. You know, because your prophet he saw the angel Jibril and he counted that he had yeah. six hundred wings. But he saw him for like a few seconds. How he was able to count them? I don't know. Okay, you are a, you are, you are a Muslim, right? Yeah. Okay, tell me about what you want. What you want to say to us? Why you call? Oh, I want to see who you are. What? I wanted to see how you are. I'm doing are you great, as you see, and as you see, I'm doing great. Thank, thank you, Lord. And uh, you know, more Muslims live in Islam, and we invite you to leave Islam immediately. What do you think? Um, uh, why no? Well, why no? Yeah, tell me, tell I, me why no. Um, I don't think I'll do that. Why not? Because I don't want to. Okay, but what is the reason? You know, I, okay, let me ask you. Uh, you are yeah. a, you are a man, and. The Quran is promise us if we convert to Islam, Allah will give us women with big boobs. What do you think about that? Really? Yeah. Can you show me where is that? You are a Muslim. You do not know where is that? I don't, to be honest. No, my friend, you are not doing your homework. You should study more. All right. Here we go. Uh, Here we go. Here we go. go. Chapter uh, chapter what? seventy-eight, verse number thirty-three. It says, "Let me read." My English is very good, by the way. The best, you know. It says. And volo, volo, uh, volo, pato, potatoes. Volo potatoes. Allah will give you volo potatoes, women. Volo potatoes. Yeah, I don't know. This is how it come from me. As you know, I'm not inspired by Jibril like your prophet, so I do not know speak English good. So it says in Arabic, "Wakawaibun atraba." You tell me in English. Here we go read it. I don't know how to read it. To be honest with you, it's very hard for me. Is it, is it so volo potatoes, something like that. You know. Voluptuous. Voluptuous. Ah, this is voluptuous. Unbelievable. Okay. So what what voluptuous mean? It means uh, busty. <laughs> busty. It means what? Like big, big, yeah. Big, big women boobs. Unbelievable. <laughs> so, brother, what do you think about what the God? Verse? What do you think? What verse is that? This is the chapter 78, verse number 33. 78, 33. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And full bosomed. Oh, they have full maidens and, oh. and full breast. 
companions. Oh, this is yes. tra this translation of who? Uh, it depends what translation you want. Okay, I don't no read so, Arabic. So Allah, He promised us full bosom. I mean, like, uh, are, are we expecting that to have women usually like have half bosom? What full bosom? Uh, well, what full bosom? Some, some, some women do. Uh, so Allah is concerned about your worry. You go to the bedroom, and one of your wives she take off her bra, and like what? I mean, that's what happened. Are you saying that? Um, I wouldn't say that. I would probably say. Say, tell me, tell me this is what it says. It says that Allah mm -hmm. is talking about full size, big size. What I mean. So why, why such a God promising it's such a promise? It doesn't say watermelons. You know, for me it says potatoes, but and for you, you said what? How you read the word? Uh, no, well, when I read it here, it says full bosom, but I'm, I'm guessing the word you're looking for is voluptuous. Voluptuous, okay, I like the voluptuous. I, I love voluptuous, actually. I ate, it, I ate many times voluptuous, like in the restaurant. I, I, they call it calamari in Greece. So listen, so voluptuous, what kind of yeah. God, he promised me, women, they have voluptuous boobs. Why? What's wrong, what's wrong with that? Okay, what uh, what's wrong with that? Because he did not even yeah. say the word women. What is the word women in the verse? It says companions. Where is the word companion? I don't know. I, I don't read Arabic. I read Arabic. It says There is no women. There is no companion. There is only one two words that they are like each other and they are voluptuous. So okay, no well, how we know that I'm, even how we know even that they are females. There's no well, word. I'm, the word women is not there. Yeah, um, my first of all, my, my knowledge is not that good, but I, I believe so. I don't want to, it's just a, I'm, a guess I'm taking, so I'm, I'm not really sure, but I'm guessing it's probably because in uh, I think this verse is referring, I've just read, uh, read the before and after okay. verses. I believe it's referring to um, uh, paradise. Exactly. I don't believe it's on the, oh, no, no, yeah. you're right, you're right. So, why, why now? I mean, why God is mentioning it to me? Size I'll, of I'll tell you. Give me a second. I, I told you I'm not, I'm not really sure, but um, obviously, you know, paradise is is not going to be of this earth. I think even even in your belief, you believe this. It's not going to be the same as this earth. Well, well it's the on. same. It's the same, my friend. As you see, there's nothing but breast and boobs and vagina and penis. It's the same. Actually, it's more dirty because now you see in this earth, you see a woman, you like her, she like you. Here, yeah. she is uh, just made for you. She's a sex toy. She's a silicone. So this is a woman you never met. She never know you. You never know her name. Oh, oh, you you said you said it doesn't even say if it's a woman or not. I'm not saying it's, it, it means it's okay, a man. No, obviously. no, no. You see, okay, hold on. We are assuming it, it that, could be we are assuming something. it's for women because it's going to be horrible if it's a man. I'm trying to help you here. Okay, okay it's a man. <laughs> so it's a man. Oh, guys, he got he got upset because it's uh, that, that doesn't say women. I'm trying to help you. It's you. It's it's you who said to me. It's, it's, it's supposed to be women, right? It's you who said that to me. You forgot? I, I said if you could give me a chance, please. Um, you said I, I told you I, I don't read them. Um, I don't I, I don't read Arabic to be honest. Mm. You said the word um, "woman" doesn't appear yeah, no, in the doesn't, Arabic. Doesn't you know? You can go. I, you can I'll, do this. I'll take your word. I'll take your word on that. Okay. I I I said I said it, and I'm just saying from my opinion. I'm, I don't have uh, knowledge if I'm being very honest. But I said obviously, as you know, paradise is different to earth. Okay. You know, it's, it's, it's not the same. So, w w whatever whatever it is, I don't know. But God knows. I don't know. Yeah, but you know, see here, the promise of Allah is to make me believe, correct? Yeah, well, well, if, if, if it means full bosom, I mean, it should, assuming it's going to be a woman, even if it doesn't say a woman, because a woman has uh, bosoms, don't they? My friend. You are, I, I can tell you are a nice person from good family, so I don't, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to be rude to you. But let's do this: a person yeah. he come to your house, and I want to be honest with me. He knock okay. at your door, and he said to you, yeah. "If you believe in my God, my God will give you women with big boobs." Are you going to listen to such a person? Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> that's not the only verse, though, is it? It's no just problem. obviously no problem. But this is what he chose. <laughs> are you saying to me? Uh, are you saying to me that this is not right to say? He chose the wrong one. No, I, I don't think there's nothing wrong okay, with so it. I, I, mean, want, I want you to answer I mean, me then. Is it is what, what, it is it right? As, as men, as men, what do we what do we love on this earth alone? You, lo you love, love you love big boobs. What if I like a small boobs? Well, you can get. 
<laughs> no, he, he promised me big boobs. I mean, I want an open buffet. I choose whatever I wish. <laughs> so do, do, do you like small boobs? <laughs> why not? I mean, I, I'm, I, why? Okay, do you like to have a... a, a are we talking about a cow now or a woman? <laughs> Okay. 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 Well, so, so what this is about, and then and then okay. So now Allah He says that those women they would have full books. And what does that mean? What, what about you? Tell me about those women. Who are they? What do you know about I, those women? I don't have. I, I'm not sure. Okay. So the only important thing in those women is their boobs. There's no other thing about them is important. Look, your Quran says there's two things important about those women: their vagina and their boobs. What do you say? Does it say vagina? Yes. I, I don't read vagina there. Well, you know, I, uh, let, us, let us show you what it says. I'll yeah. read the um, the English translation. It says, I'm full-breasted of equal age. Hmm. And then it goes on to say, I'm full cups of pure wine. Hmm. Never to hear any, no ill speech will they hear therein or any falsehood. Hmm. Okay. Um, I've, I've just basically, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing obviously from just reading this, it's uh, it's definitely the description of paradise. Okay, my friend, I, I agree with you. This is about paradise. But listen with me carefully. In chapter yeah. 55, verse number 56, it describes what is inside the vagina. Okay, let me go to that one second. If you could just hold on. Was that 55? 55, 56. Surah Al-Rahman, hmm. it says, in them, there will be maidens, one second, let me just get the translation. Can you read the one in the screen, I'm showing you on the screen. In them will be maidens chaste, restraining their glances, who no man or jinn before them has touched. Is that the verse you're talking about? It doesn't say that, this is a lie. In the, the verse it says, and this is the, the more accurate translation, this is the Muslim translation in front of me. It says, we're in both will be those median restraining in their glance upon their husband, whom no man or genie, yat muthahunna, between two brackets, has opened their hemens, I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, hemens, with sexual intercourse before them. Well, if you read this, it's in them, there will be maidens restraining their glances, whom neither a man has not touched before them, nor a genie, meaning touch they what, are... Touch what exactly? As in, hasn't touched them in a sexual way. Okay, no, touch where exactly? The vagina. It says here, Yat Mutha Hunna. Yat Mutha Tamath. A Tamath, my yes. friend. Okay, Tamath is when women bleed either from losing her virginity or from the period. No, that's fine. I agree. Okay, it's, it's so, so what we learn about those women now, they have big boobs and their vagina is brand new. They are versions, you could say. In... Okay, uh -oh. yeah. that's it. So now I will believe in Allah because they have a vagina never been touched and big boobs. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that it's, you know, this is just talking about what you will receive in paradise. Okay, this exactly. is remote. Okay. okay. What about, just, what about just, you tell what? me about the women? Where is what? the women? Okay, my friend, where is the women? And why those women are jailed in their tent? Why they will be jailed? Jailed? Yeah, it says restraining. They will be jailed. They cannot, they cannot go out. They can't see. They can't see any other person in the world except you. Yeah, and 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 why not? What's wrong with that? I mean, so, that's in paradise. Okay, so do you do you like do you okay? So do you like do you like abuse? Do you like do you enjoy abuse? So you are a person who like your women. You have tons of women now, and they are jailed. They can't see anybody. Nobody can see them. So you can just enjoy them sexually forever. Is that an abuse or not? Is that a sex sex slave? No, I wouldn't say that's abuse because so like why I told you, them? why they are jailed? I I will explain to you. Okay, one explain. Second. Go ahead. Like I said to you earlier, there there is a difference between this world and paradise. This is not talking about a woman from this world. Hmm. Do you see what I mean? It's not talking about a woman. This is in paradise. This is this is created for your reward uh -huh. when you the test in this life. Hmm. And this is what it means. It's, it's not like that's what they was made for. That's what they will be made for. They will be created for. So they are made just for sex. For they, they are created for your pleasure. Okay. Yes, for your reward. So for your reward. So look at this God, guys. He are those women are human, or they are silicon. I wouldn't say they are silicon or are they human. This I told you. I told you. 
Mister. The old machine. What? No, <laughs> no, they're not machine. Um, what? What is in? I'm not sure where, but in in another verse in the Quran, there is something. I, I couldn't say it word for word, but it's describing like, obviously, rivers of. Uh, in, of the coast, honey. in the coast, in the coast, in the coast, in the same chapter. Actually, I think that we can we can go there. But uh, I want you to focus with me now. Focus with yeah, me. I, the woman. I don't care about the honey. Please, I can get no, I can get honey from Walmart. This is listen, 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 my friend. Those women, they are made from what? Are they human or not? If you if you could please let me just explain from what I know, hmm. from what I know. If you could just give me a chance, please. I'm, okay. I'm not I'm not going on topic. I'm not going on topic. Okay. Basically, like I said, I'm not sure. Um, verse for verse how it goes but it's something similar in this context it talks about when it's given a description of paradise it's talking about fruit and things like that and it says you will eat of it okay. but it will not be like of this world hmm. so it's it's given us it's telling us an example but we don't know what it will be like it will be obviously something much better but we we can't at, at this moment in this life we can't comprehend it we can't because it's paradise you know i mean that's the main aim so, As yourself, you you believe with, with your belief, and with people who believe in God, their main aim is is to get into paradise, right? But we we don't know what we we've never been to paradise. We don't know what it's like, and we we don't understand. It's it's kind of like going into even on on in this world when you go into a a different country and you see a different culture. Hmm. Some people say it's alien. It's something different. So we learn. But because we haven't been to paradise, we don't know. We just ha we're given a description. Hmm. It's a description from what I know. From this is from what I know. Okay. This is what I believe. I, I'm not. I'm like I told you. I, I'm not really knowledgeable. If I'm being very honest, but it's in in another verse. It's talking about you know in paradise where you'll be given fruit and everything, but it will be not like of this world. Hmm. It will be something different. So what? This is not a question. You see, first of all, if if mm -hmm. uh, we know that this is not from this world, but however. Are they females and they are women or they well, are I'm, not I'm, females and I'm, women? I'm, I'm sure they they will be females, but they're not going to be females of this life. So are they human? So what not lie in this I'm, life? Who I'm, care? I'm, are they human like you or you are going to sleep with a silicone? No, I wouldn't say, <laughs> I wouldn't say they're a silicone. So either they're human or animals and there's no third, third choice except a Barbie. Choose one. Silicone, Barbie. Human? No, it, it it can be something else because God can make something what He decides. Okay. Whether it, do, do when do, you mean okay, human. do those women they speak mm. to you your language or they don't? I'm not I'm not sure to be honest. I'm no, sure they, they will be they will be singing for you one song forever. I mean, this is so. Look what happened now. Your God yeah, explained I'm, nothing about to the point. Look how confused you are. You do not even know if they are human or not. You do not know if they are like it, you or not. Oh, what you know, they are from other dimension, and they have boobs, and they did not bleed. Day. Let me ask you: Is the blood, is the blood, is a sign yeah. of being a creature which is either a human or an animal? Correct? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm, I'm, it says, I'm sure Yatmutahuna, they are. Yatmutahuna, they will not bleed. You know, they did not bleed yet, which means they will bleed. They did not well, bleed it yet. Doesn't, it doesn't need to mean that. It just it could mean it's given a description that she is untouched. No, no, it's, you see, he, he did not use true. the word untouched. This is a fast translation. It says, Yat Muthahunna. Uh, even your Muslim translation says, has opened their humans with sexual intercourse. Uh, you go to the dictionary, you see that uh, Thomas is either the woman of blood from period or when she loses her virginity. So she will she did not yet bleed, which means she will bleed. So she is a human. Now, this is a human, she is going to be jailed inside her tent for eternity. Yeah. So you can enjoy her. What is the joy? that you are having women and those women they cannot go out forever is that is it this is a slave, is it this is a slavery no it's not it's not a slavery so it's what it is slavery. they cannot leave can they leave it's your reward it's can, your reward can they refuse you a reward so the king he said you the pharaoh says you because you are good to me i'm going to give you 1000 human being to sleep with them you just go no the Human. This is a human, though. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't My um, friend, because even your no, wives and the earth, they will be there. Even your wives and the earth, and they don't choose the husband. Allah will designate who will be with you in the heaven. Not only the whore, even your wives and even childrens. 
how many child you will have for you as a slave in the heaven? I, I'm not sure. To be honest, I feel like you're going a bit of topic here. I'm trying. No, to... we are talking about the topic because we are talking about the reward of the heaven. Look what your prophet he yeah. said. The lowest reward, the lowest reward of a person in heaven is going to have eighty thousand child. Let us go and find the hadith. Eighty thousand. Those are just slaves. Those are slaves. Yeah. This, this, this is the hadith, though. The hadith is, is different from no. The Quran, it's not see. only the hadith. We can go to the Quran. The Quran says, yeah, the Quran promises you, the Quran, the Quran we'll what, with, so why you don't want the hadith? Are you ashamed of your prophet? No, I'm not ashamed. The okay. thing with the hadith But isn't your is prophet a, is the one who explained the Quran to you and you have no idea what Islam is without your prophet saying? No, the hadith, the hadith came hundreds of years after the Quran. Well, the Quran and, came hundreds of years too because the one who recited the Quran, the Quran we are viewing right now, is the recitation, not the book, of Hafs, which I'm, is more than 200 years I'm, after I'm, Muhammad. A lot of a lot of the hadith as well came from the Persian area of the world, and because of that the time, I believe. Okay, you the see. Persian Empire okay, let, let me ask you: Is the Quran coming from the Persian area? Is the Quran coming from the Persian no. area? No. So how Allah He promised you in the Quran is Tabrak. Is Tabrak is a brand of the Persian silk. Because he uh, he knows Allah knows what. Uh, yeah, but, is, but the Persian are in you know, earth. The Persian are in earth, and they are making clothing in earth. And now, yeah. if God Allah is going to buy what they make in earth, He will take it to heaven. He cannot make the same. He said, "Istabrak." Istabrak is like now saying Gucci. It's a very well-known brand for the Persian. Only Persian make it for silk, and only very wealthy, rich people they can afford such a thing. So look what your God He did. Your God He is going to buy from the Iranian Al Khomeini. Hey. Khomeini, please, can you send me 1,000 jacket of or, or, or a t-shirt of Istabrak? So, if Allah is creating heaven and this is out of dimension, then he should not use something is made in this earth. Where, no, but where does he, are you trying to say he's going to, he's promised in heaven a the Persian clothing? It says that Istabrak, Istabrak, it's a Persian clothing. Yes, but you, you need to understand what, what is is given as a description for us here is not going to be the same in heaven so everything allah, in heaven okay can't allah he use different word i mean why i want to use nike if it's not nike why i want to use apple if it's not apple why i want to use samsung if it's not samsung so allah he says i'm going to get you samsung in heaven and now you are telling me samsung is not samsung well it's like you're talking about the, the um what you call it the voluptuous woman it's given us a description because we understand what that is. It's for us as humans to understand. Do you understand now? Do you understand anything? I understand. I'm, I'm, understand. I don't understand. So what we understand now, there is there is a lot of women, tens of thousands, waiting for you and their legs is open, excuse my language. And now Allah will close you with clothing is made in Iran. In the top of that, do you like to wear a bracelet? Why not? Well, I don't know. This is very gay for me. Why a man want to wear a bracelet? I mean, I, I, I wear it as long as it's silver, personally. You know, okay, so what's wrong with gold? If you wear gold, does that make you gay? No, it doesn't make I just feel like it's okay, a bit... Okay, so why family. Allah, you say this is a different dimension. Why Allah, he promised you a bracelet from gold in one verse and a bracelet of silver from one verse? The contradiction. Maybe you have both. It does, it's not a contradiction. It's it is a contradiction have... because they are coming in two different verses. One saying, I will give you bracelet from gold. This is chapter 30, 35, 33. And then the other mm. verse says, as I will mean for that chapter 76, verse number 21. So either you will have this or you will have that. If it is both, then he should mention both in the same verse. Did he forget in chapter 76 to say silver and gold? No, he said silver. And, that, now, that, that's, and again, that's not, and again, look what he did. Look what he did. He says, yeah. you will wear clothes is made of sundos, which is silk. All right. And you will be decorated with bracelet but i don't see any contradiction in that okay let us go to the other verse here we go it says here chapter 22 verse number 23 it says bracelet from gold there's nothing wrong with that a contradiction is when somebody says like example i will do this but they do something else no he did, but something, it, else. It doesn't... He did something else because if, if, if it, you see, when Allah he is telling you what you will get in heaven, did he miss to say the word gold in one place? He fixed it in second place? Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. 
Oh, so you are saying he forgot? I never said he forgot. Okay, so he never, remember, he if, if he remember why he did not mention it but, here, what is the worst I'm, I'm, Okay, let us. Let, I'm, okay, what is the value of gold and silver in heaven? I have no idea. Is it true that in the heaven there is a market for you of a playboy? I'm not sure. I'm what really not I, sure. What if this is true? What is, the, is there a market for what? Of a Playboy magazine. A play? <laughs> Come on, you, you're being funny now, yeah? Well, it's funny. Are you making fun of your prophet now? We're making fun, but come on, there's nothing that says Playboy magazine. Okay, wh what if we prove it? Yeah, prove it. Okay, but if, we, if I prove it, what you will do? Nothing. No, you don't care? Because you just said it's funny. No, but it's, uh, there's no way. I've never read anything that says there's a Playboy magazine. What if it is? You can show me them. I'm asking you, what if it is before I show you? Are you going to be disgusted? Um, I, I, I'm, I know it doesn't exist. Okay, you, you, so you are sure it exists. So let me ask you. Did Allah promise you yeah. in the heaven to have sex with men or only women? I, I believe only women. Well, let us see. Here we go. And I want you to read with me in the screen, please. And the Muslims, they try their best to fight those hadith, which is a very embarrassing stories in the, you know, in, the, in, their, in their books. Hello? Yeah, read, uh, watch the screen with me. Do you see it? I do. Mm. What do you see? Once and if you don't like Yours. this uh, this uh, translation, hold that. Let's show you the big, the big one, the original one. Here we go. <clears throat> this 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 is not in the Quran. This is in the Hadith. So what? Yeah. And this is in the. It's not in the Quran. Then. Okay. It says your prophet said that in the heaven there's a market, and in this market there is images of men and women. And if the man he liked the image, he enter it, which means he have sex with it. Yeah, but this, like I told you, this is not the Quran. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah, doesn't matter, my doesn't friend. Is it your prophet who's saying that? This is. I don't take the all the hadith as. Who care? Uh, Who care if you take it or not? I mean, is, is it up to you? Take the Quran, though. Is it, up to you? is it up to you, my friend? Is it up to you? <laughs> It is up to me. <laughs> no, it's not up to you because it's religion. We, you cannot, we cannot change it. <laughs> if you're a prophet, this is your prophet. This is your prophet. Are you saying to me that you have more authority than your prophet? I think I think the the Quran as a hundred percent, but um, not uh, not the Hadith or because Hadith is was um, I believe was is written by uh, is is the word of man passed on narrations, but. Uh, the Quran is is the word of God, my belief. Is it based on narration too? Pardon? Isn't the Quran based on narration of people? Yeah, but it's is in is is the word of God. It's the word I believe it's, it's okay. It's, let, let us let us confirm if it's the word of God or not. I will make it very simple. Listen, my friend, you sound like a nice guy. I will give you a chance to prove to me that this is the word of God. I will ask you very simple. According yeah. to the Quran, which one Allah created first? The mountains? The trees or the stars? Uh, I'm I'm not sure. I told you I'm I'm not okay. very. I will I'm not very. Low. Okay, I will See? help you. I will help you. If we go to uh, this chapter here, chapter two, verse twenty-nine, it says, "It is He who has created for you all things that on earth, and then not more over." Translation says, "More over." I cannot see nothing on your screen is blank. Uh, it, now it's blank. Maybe it's taking time to load. It's in Arabic. What, I, I, what, I don't what read that. What translation you, you read usually? What translation you read? Um, I I I have I have a few. Tell me, I have a few. Tell me I, translation I have, you like, so I can put it for you. Like this one, uh, Muhammad Hilali and Khan. Which one is your favorite? I can put it for you. Um, I uh. Just uh, Yusuf Ali is okay. Okay, this is a Iranian Khan. Let us see this one. It is he who created for you that all on earth, and then he went up to the heaven, and he made them seven heaven. Based on this verse, Allah created the earth first or the heaven? 
He cre- he, it is he who created for you all that is on earth. Then he rose over towards the heaven and made them so. And he said, so he created, it is he who created for you all that is on earth. He created all that is on earth first, then he rose over towards the heaven. And, and then he made them seven heaven, right? Yeah. Okay, so which one, what, he fin- which, which one he finished first? Uh, I believe from that first earth. Okay, wonderful. So the earth is the first one he finished. Let us go to the different verse in the Quran. This is a different chapter in the Quran, chapter 79, verse number 30. It says here, we start from verse number 27. You can read for us, go ahead, read for us. Chapter 79, verse 27. <laughs> uh, me? Yeah, read for us. Your English is better than mine, for sure. All right. Um, if you could just put it on the screen. Yeah, it's on the screen be... already now. Are you more difficult to create, or is the, is the heaven that he constructed? Hmm. Verse after that. He raised his height, and he has equally ordered it. Wonderful. Verse number 29. It's night he covers with darkness, and it's... If you could scroll down, please. Hmm. And it's forenoon he brings out with okay. light. And then, and, and then what he did? And after that he spread the earth. And after that he did what too? Verse 31. And brought forth therefrom its waters and its... Down, please. Pasture. And what, the last one? Uh, could you scroll down, please? And the mountains he has fixed firmly. Okay, so look what happened. Based on this, the last thing Allah he finished, it was the mountains and the earth, all right? Mm -hmm. In the verse before it, the chapter before chapter 2, you agreed that based on this chapter, Allah he finished the earth first. And then he went to the heaven and he made him seven heaven. But the chapter we just showed you is the opposite. It says that Allah first, he finished the heaven, made them seven heaven. He raised it above. He made the day and the night. And then after that, he started working in the earth. He made it flat. And after that, he made the substance of the and the water and trees. And after that, he made the mountain. The last thing is the mountain. Correct? Now, he, it says he 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 created what is on the earth, no not problem. the earth. Not my friend. What is on okay, the earth. Friend, it doesn't, let us go. No, no, no. No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. Focus with me. Focus with me. Chapter 2, verse 29. Let's read it again. It says, it is he who created for you all that is on the earth. Yes, which which could mean different things. It doesn't mean, mean the earth. Thing. All that on the earth. All that it doesn't say all. It doesn't say the earth. It says all that is on oh, the earth. There's other earth. No, no, no. So all that is on the earth. All in Meaning, the earth. Okay. Ma on the, earth, the materials. The you could say nature. Okay. okay. I will. I will show you one more. Just wait. To try. Nice try. Uh, Let us go to a different one. I want you to read this one and laugh with me now. Let's see how you can solve it. I don't know why you said nice try. I'm really not trying. I'm not no, being rude I, to you. I'm not trying, my I'm... friend. It's you. I, I asked you about chapter two. You said to me, based yeah. on this, you remember? Based on this, obviously, Allah, he created the earth first before he, fin- he, 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 he did the sky. You said that. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Now, we go here. We will find chapter 41, verse number 11. And... If we read it from, uh, uh, just to keep the same translator, if we read it from the verse number 10, 41 10, it says here, he placed therein, i.e. between the earth, for mountains from above it. Actually, let's go to the verse before, sorry, I skipped this one. Say, Muhammad, uh, uh, between bracket, do you, ver- do you verily dis- dis- disbelieve in him who created the earth in two days and set reviles in worship with him uh, uh, that is your Lord uh, uh, of uh, Rabbul Alameen, the word of uh, uh, two words, actually not mankind, but the translation. And then he placed then, he placed in, in the I, earth, I, I don't really mountains. like this translation, to be uh, honest with What the, translation you want? What translation you want? I told you, if you could just put just one without the, because this translation okay, is... Okay, give me one, give me one. Oh. one with it. You, you want Yosef Ali? This is Yosef Ali. I don't know. All of them, they have a bracket. I don't know. This one has, uh, it has commentary included. Okay, what do you want? Which, which one? Give me my, my friend, give me one. Which one? Which one you want is, huh? Anyone without commentary, please. I know this is not this guy. This is this is Yosef Ali. Is that okay? Okay, go ahead. Okay, so this is Yosef Ali saying, he said on the earth, mountains standing firm, high above it, and bestowed blessing on the earth, and measure all things uh, there in all things, and giving them 
He's gone. <laughs> Let us hope it was an error, not an Quranic error. It's a Skype error. Let's hope it's a Skype error, not Quranic error, because I have a feeling that he is not going to answer. I have a feeling it was not an error, he dropped it in purpose. I'm telling you, Jibril told me that he hang up, he's not answering. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is it obvious? Have you ever heard of a god? You don't remember which one he finished first? Mountains or the stars? Stars or the trees? Trees or the water? Earth or heaven? And they challenge you, a brother and sister. This is not a book from man, brother. This is a book from God. What? This is a book from God. Who? Hey, Abdul, are you sure? Abdul, are you sure? Yes, I'll leave it now. How's that? Challenge. Challenge. A challenge, a challenge, a challenge, brother. This is the words of Allah. Find me one error in this, I'll leave it now. <clears throat> one. Are you, I think he made a mistake. He, he wanted to say 1,000. Find me one error. Find me one error. Can you find me one error? You can't find me one error. Hey Christian Prince, are you hiding behind the burqa? <laughs> it's obvious anyone have little dignity. I, I asked the friend who called us. I don't want to make fun of you, my friend. I understand it's very embarrassing. Read it and be honest. Which one Allah he finished first? It's very obvious. Either the last thing he did is the mountains, or the last thing he did is the stars. Just compare between two and you will find the answer right away. Uh, he's saying his battery died. You know, he need to recharge. Okay, my friend, you can call me anytime. No problem. You are welcome. He's a nice guy. <sighs> Yeah, actually, now the Muslim, they will complain. They will say, Christian Prince, we challenge to show us one error, not a thousand. Therefore, your argument is not valid. I, I cannot do it. So, I mean, Zach and Nike will. Christian Prince, the talent made by our brother Farouk, saying, so no error. And because you are stupid, you saw that more than a hundred error. And it proves that you are stupid. Because the talent was one error. And now you saw that one thousand. And that means you lost. Thank you very much. Like, what the heck? Oh, God, they promised me women with big boots. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Like, what the heck? Wait, was he a pimp? Hey, Christian Prince, if you follow me. I will give you women with big boobs. Hey, Allah, what? How big? Very big. Like, like, can you tell me it's described? I mean, really big. Like, okay, Allah, but just tell me, you know, I mean, you're scared the hell of me now. You know, what if she smashed me with one of them? You know, if they are so big. Hey, Allah, do they bounce? Absolutely. Like how? Boing, boing, boing. Hey, Allah, what is inside those boobs? Milk, honey, or gas? Milk. Wrong answer. <laughs> I want gas. Do you know the price of gas now? Do you, did you see the price of gas? Tell George Biden. You stupid American, you voted for this guy. You voted for this guy. We don't want milk in those boobs. We want gas. Who's going to pay for my car? Allah? 
Who don't want women have milk? Imagine you have a woman whore, you know, Allah he created for you a whore. She has a boobs, big boobs. You, your gas is over. She go out of the car and boop, 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 she squeeze it. This, your car is full of gas. And you continue driving. Alhamdulillah. We have to, we have to, you know, we have to agree. We have no choice not to agree. And they will, they will kill you if you don't agree. <laughs> The brothers and sister, the price are going everywhere, not only in America. No, my friend, in America we have a lot of gas, so price here should be the cheapest in the world. Those stupid people, the first day they took over the office, they stopped drilling for gas. Don't you get it? Gas was expensive in the time of Trump too, but in America it was cheap. And actually when America dig, the price go down everywhere, because America was number one producer for oil. This is what happened when you choose an idiot. You know the thing. I, I find a lot of similarity between Allah and Joe Biden. They, they, both of them, they have no idea. You know the thing. I mean, if you try to explain the Quran, the easiest way to get a Christian prince busted is to say to him, let us say he said to you, okay, explain to me chapter 42, verse number 10. If you try to explain it, my friend, he will get you busted. So let me tell you what you do. Tell him you know the thing. We are created by the thing, you know, and you know you know the thing. That's it. What you can do about it? It's over. He got busted. <sighs> he was talking big for Joe Biden. What talking big mean? I don't know what does that mean. Talking big. Is that English? Uh, so do we have any more Abdul or are we out of uh, Zeus? Look like we are out of Zeus. So now we are here for two hours and four, 34 minutes. I think that's enough for today. Uh, did we have a good time, guys? Did you have a good time? I'm not sure how many of you is going to convert to Islam with the boobs thing. If I am you and you like boobs, that's it. The God who provides boobs is the best. Forget about the rest. You know, like I want you today, all men, forget it. Women, close your ears. Today, men, you go to your bed and you imagine yourself in the presence of Allah. And then he opened the door of heaven and boobs like boing, 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 boing all over you. And wherever your hand go, you touch nipples. Nipples, 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 nipples. To the point, I advise you to call your heaven the heaven of Nepaline. Walking down the street in the land of Papaline, Napoline, Napoline, oh oh. Actually, I don't think you will be able to walk. You will bounce because you will be walking in the top of boobs. Oh, I don't want to forget that the Prophet, he promised us women who their ass is one mile. You see what is really good about this heaven? It is the size of the ass. One mile, which is pretty small, if you want to ask me. I mean, why one mile? Why you don't make it 72 mile? What's wrong with you, Allah? Why are you being cheap? One mile only. What I would do with one mile only? And by the way, this one mile ass is so smooth. Allah has spent 1,000 years to smooth it. So let me tell you something here. You can challenge your friends, like they come to your house, like for barbecue, Ibn Farooq, Mimi, etc. You say to them, I challenge you to climb over the wife's ass. It's so smooth. You will love, you will die laughing at how slippery it is, brother. <laughs> one ass, one, mil, one, one mile. If her ass is one mile, her boobs is what? And if the ass is one mile, her... Uh, <coughs> is how big? Is it going to be in the size of a lake? Can we do fishing there? That's a good idea. We do hiking in the ass, we do fishing in the... <clears throat> That's so good, brother. 
so beautiful. And truly, truly, I am convinced that Allah is God who said the truth and his book have no error. Error. Roar. Well, it's roaring time. So guys, talking about <clears throat> heaven of Allah made me feel hungry. And now it is time for me to go and eat some fruits. You don't look, look how lazy they are in the heaven. You don't even go to the tree. The tree go down to you. Muhammad, he knew exactly he is talking to who? The most lazy ever. You sit in your chair. You don't need to climb the tree to get the fruit. The branches is down. You know, my friend, I don't know. I think this is a dwarf tree, maybe. It doesn't make sense. How you can stand up then? If you stand up, your head will go between the branches. Don't think about it. Just accept it. All right? Yeah. Oh, boy. Anyway, but ho hold on. I, we did not mention this. This one is alone is something. Allah will put inside the anus of the one who disbelieve a 70 pubic chain will insert it in the anus and will take it from your nose. Alhamdulillah. And if you read Ibn Kathir about this verse, and look, just to show you, just to show you a miracle. This is a verse speaking about the anus, and the number of the chapter is 69. How you can explain that? Isn't this a miracle? So Allah will insert inside the anus a chain. And if you go and read the description of the chain, you will die laughing. 69.32, let us go to Ibn Kathir. Unbelievable. You know, a Muslim, he told, he said to, to me that because of me, uh, uh, there is people, they convert to Islam, brother. He said, no way. He said, yes way. Hmm. And uh, why? He said, because you made a speech uh, in front of a lot of Hindus, and you told them that the biggest chapter in the Quran is uh, the cow chapter. Like, what the heck? I did that? Yes, brother. And then, because you said it's the biggest chapter, the cow chapter, all those Hindu brothers, they become Muslims. Look, how I do such a mistake? I can't even believe it, I did that. I will never say such a thing in India again. All right. 70, okay, hold on, hold on. Description of the chain, brother. Meaning, he will command the guardians of hell to force play, remove him from the gathering place, fetter him, meaning, put iron collar on his neck and then carry him to hell and then continue. And then every ring of it will be equal to the entire amount of iron in the world. Okay, what will happen? It will be entered into his buttocks, like what? And will pull it out of him in his mouth. Buttocks, mouth, iron, and this iron of every ring of it is more than the iron in the whole world. How big the buttocks of this guy? I mean, seriously, how big this buttocks? If the every ring of it is more, have more iron than the entire amount of iron found in the world. Now we understand why he's talking about the one mile butt. Because it will be bigger, way bigger. If every ring of this chain is equal to more, how, how much iron we have? We have the magma of the earth, all of it is iron. 
brother, a lot of iron, brother. Where? In your buttocks, brother. Do you remember the guy from Pakistan? He said, if you read the Quran, the Quran protect your bottom. <laughs> this is what he's talking about. Protect your bum, your anal. Allah, brother. I don't know what kind of movie the one who wrote the Quran was watching. But for sure, it's something from Netflix. Perverted company. It will be entered into his buttocks and pulled out of his mouth. And look, like just, just, just to show you more details about those things, you know. Here it says, it will be entered in his behind brother until it is thrown out of his nostrils. Like, what? Just use your imagination. And now, let us describe for you, brother, this is a chain. If a drop of the lid like this, he pointed at the skull bone, were sent from the heaven to earth. A distance of 500 year travel, brother. It would reach the earth before night. Somebody call NASA. What the heck? I called NASA, the American station. Hello again? What's. I did not call China. Idiot! We told you everything is made in China these days. So you call NASA, you call FASA, it doesn't matter. It's made in China. So, oh, okay, sorry. I thought I got the wrong number or something, you know? So, okay, so this is NASA. So, hey, NASA, what do you think about this thing? You know, you know like, yeah. what the heck? Am I talking to Brosley? <laughs> that's, that's too much. This is too much for me, honestly, like this is too much. Oh boy. Actually, I have a complaint. Somebody sent me a message saying, please stop, my kidney is hurting from laughing. Here we go, they will sue me. They will say that the husband, he died because, my husband, he lost his kidney and he died laughing because of a Christian prince. We will sue you. We agreed that this is a program to teach about religion. It is not a comedy, Sherlock. This is not a comedy. This is anus, don't you see? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, I better leave you now. Otherwise, <clears throat> more men will drop dead and more women, they will be so upset from me. And maybe someday will be happy. Finally, she can replace the husband. You never know. <laughs> so I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. We pray for the Muslim to see the truth and the truth will set you free. Our Lord is the Lord and no name beside his name. Our Lord is the truth, and no name beside and above his name. Our Lord is the Savior. Our Lord is the Redeemer. Even in the stupid books of Muhammad, our Lord is the one who will come as a judge in the judgment day. People, prepare yourself. The Lord, the Messiah, the judge in the judgment day is going to come sooner or later. And those who follow a fool, they will follow the fool. And those who follow the wise, the holy God, the Messiah, they will be with him. God is good. And God is not a pimp. God is not a pimp who provide us vagina and penises and made his house a house of evil, a house of fornicators, a house of lust, a house of boobs. Our Lord is the good Lord, for only him is good. So we invite all the Muslims to see the truth, and the truth will set you free. You can attack a Christianity as much as you can, as much as you wish. But the one is coming back is Jesus, even in your silly book. The only one is coming back is the Messiah. And he will come with the glory of his angels. And he will say, bring them here in front of me. And you know what will happen next. Everyone will go where he belongs. So the question is, 
Where do you belong? I belong to Christ. What about you? Christ is Lord. Islam is a scam, and we prove it every day. We love the Muslims, we don't hate them, but we will never love the devil. We will never share with him anything. We will never worship him. We will never accept him. And Islam is of the devil for sure. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. Take care. Faithful and the true witness. He is. Amen.